And good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. As usual, please let me know in the chat if you can hear me and you can see me OK. Still getting used to this new streaming software, and I'm actually using a slightly different setup uh, today. We shall see later on, maybe. Um, so yeah, welcome to part three in my playthrough series of Too Many Bones, which are aimed at the beginner. Um, as I've said a number of times, I struggled learning how to play Too Many Bones when I first got it, um, and it definitely has a learning curve to the game. And these videos are intended effectively for, for the beginner. So this is the third in the series. If you are new to Too Many Bones and you want to learn how to play it, I would recommend going and watching my first video, uh, because the first video that I did a couple of weeks ago is more of a tutorial. Today's video is going to be more of a playthrough. Uh, I will be explaining a couple of bits as we go specifically for the two characters that we're using today, uh, but this is not intended to be uh, a tutorial on how to play the game. Already done that. So yes, we're going to be playing two player today and I'm joined by Scott again. Say hello, Scott. Hello. And again, let me know in the chat if you can hear Scott okay. Now, Scott, you've chosen today to play Gasket, which is not a character that is included in the base set, but this is an add-on, is that right? That's correct, yeah. Um, it was released alongside Undertow, I believe. Right. Okay. So yeah, if you are watching this and you only own the core set, we are playing today against Mulmesh, which is a core set uh, baddie. Uh, I'm playing Boomer, which is a core set gear lock, but Gasket isn't in the core set. The ca Gasket is, is, is an add-on. And you've played Gasket before then? I have, yeah, a few times. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and turn your volume up a little bit because people say you're a bit quiet. Mm-hmm. There you go. I've turned uh, I've turned Scott up as as loud as he can go. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've never played Boomer before. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a voyage into the unknown for me. I have watched a, a video this morning. I've had some help from people uh, on the Discord channel, and I've had a read through the sheet. Okay, so I am by no means an expert at playing Boomer. This will be my first time, but I will be back again with a second playthrough of Too Many Bones this week. Uh, on Thursday night, where I will be playing Boomer again. Right, okay. So we're good to go. Uh, we're all set up. Everything is set up ready. We've got Mulmesh's uh, encounter deck set up, which is nine days. So there is one blue card shuffled in here. And as usual, the top three cards are always the same. We've got our characters set up. And since I've won the last two games, I'm actually going to up the difficulty level by one. I'm still playing on an easier difficulty level, but what I'm doing now is we're playing on... What's the name of the mode we're playing on? Adventure Heroic. mode? Heroic Adventure mode. So our characters start with one extra hit point, and we get one training point. Now, I've spent my training point on Dexterity, uh, and Scott, you've spent your training point on the Cut skill. Yeah. Okay. And if we were playing on normal difficulty mode... Or is that, is, that, is that Legendary Adventure? Legendary Adventure is the normal difficulty mode. I, I think that depends who you ask. I normally okay. play on Heroic. Right, okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm not quite comfortable enough with the game for Legendary. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we are... We're ready to go then, I think. So we yeah. just jump straight in. Oh, I've got the baddie stacks. Um... So the bodies are made up of beasts, bog, and scales. So we've got we've got these. Let's give these a bit of a shuffle because these are all. So I've sorted them all out this morning. Again, we're still only using uh, bodies from the core set. I haven't mixed in any of the other ones yet. So if you have watched any of the previous streams, you're going to be coming acro across bodies that you uh, have already seen before and you know how they work. I'm now starting to feel quite comfortable with these and after after the playthrough on Thursday I think I'm now ready to progress beyond the core set whether I go to Age of Tyranny or whether I try Undertow I'm not sure um, but my next playthrough after this week um, yeah will be uh, yeah will be something a bit different right okay so day one um, I'm not going to read the intro again, but for those of you, because uh, it, it's the same thing every time, uh, basically we'll put the side camera on. So basically, yes, what happens is uh, we have left the city. Um, yeah, we're off and we basically get a choice of two training points or training point and loot. Now, Scott, you've already said you want loot. Yes. Right. So we're going to go with that option. 
uh, loot cards. Right. Let's give the loot cards a shuffle, because last time <laughs> people were in the chat saying, I don't think they're shuffled. <laughs> I should use the Age of Tyranny first three days. Okay, right. I don't know much about Age of Tyranny yet, um, so I'll have a read of that. But thank you very much, Matouche. I assume your name is pronounced Matouche, because you've got the same first name as the designer of Alchemists, who works at CGE, uh, and he's called, uh, and his name is pronounced Matouche. So I think I got that right. Yeah, let's see the fortunate discovery. Right, I'll do yours first, Scott. Mm -hmm. So you have drawn fortunate discovery and fortunate discovery. No, you've drawn <laughs> skinning knife and reinforced buckler. Now you don't have the corset, which means you don't know what these. You've not seen these before, then. No, but fortunately for Gasket, it doesn't matter what they do. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Um, if you, yeah, choose yours first and then look at mine okay. and decide if there's one that you want. Um, well, multi-tool is quite good. Yeah. So I'm going to go with multi-tool. Okay. Right. So how does it work for you then? So... Gasket, he can carry loot, but he can't use the ability on loot. Right. Instead, he chucks loot into his furnace to power him. Okay. Um, so th th there are two things you can do with it. The um, power converter die, you can either burn a loot to set that to the maximum. Yep. Which is three. Or the other thing you can do is... Um, discard it to set the Hydra Valve die, which is the number one die, yeah. to a side of your choosing. So you don't roll it, it you just set it to right. a value. Um, which, when we come to see how that works, will will make sense. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one you take then? Yeah. Right, okay. So yeah, for those who, who don't know Gasket, just give us a little bit of an introduction to Gasket, because you don't look like a gearlock. Uh, yeah, he is not a gearlock. He is a steam-powered bot. Um, and as I said, he's... Oh, or did I say? He's tied into the the backstory for Undertow. And um, he may be sentient himself, or he may be being controlled by a character that turns up in the backstory. Right. Um, but yeah, he's a robot, so he does things very differently from the, the gearlocks. Right. Okay. Teddy has arrived, is a little bit late, but has a question which I'm going to answer for you. So you will notice that my character actually starts with four skills on here. And that is because on each character's skill sheet, as you can see here, some of them are circled. You can see here that these four are circled, which means those dice actually start in here. And if we have a look at Gasket, the Scots character, uh, you will notice... Uh, that the hydro valve is circled, the primary canister is circled, and the power converter is circled. So Gasket always starts with those three skills when you start playing, but because of the difficulty setting we've difficulty setting we've chosen, both of our characters um, go in there. Oh right, thank you very much. There's a problem with my Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth stream. Right, I noticed that there was an error this morning. So, yeah, bear with us a minute. I'm just going to fix that. The, YouTube was throwing out an error this morning that basically said um, my stream keys were duplicated uh, and I wasn't sure what that was going to do. And now I know what that's going to do. I, I seem to be streaming to two different streams at the same time. So bear with us a minute. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to kill. <laughs> I'm going to kill the other one um, because this is not Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth Part 5. I hope that this doesn't stop this stream. That's what I hope. So bear with us a minute. Let's go into the manage. Yeah, we're, we're live on both, apparently. <laughs> so, right. I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop the Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth stream. Um, thank you for letting me know. And I hope that that doesn't stop this one. If it does, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, so let's stop that one. That is Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth Part 5. That's, that's now done. Hopefully, we are still live with this one. Cross fingers. Cross fingers. That's interesting the way that YouTube did that, because I only pressed go live on this video and not on the other one. Yeah. 
Am I not playing both at the same time, Cedric? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're still live on this one. Yes, we're still live. Right, excellent. So, um, how are we going to spend our training points? Uh, I'm going to take a dexterity. You're going to take a dexterity, so that's an automatic success. Yep. I am going to try to increase my attack. So, because my attack is currently one, I need to make a roll. And I didn't get a bones, so I can increase my attack by one. Yeah. There you go. Right, that is day one done. And we gained now, a progress we, point. We may want to do something else. Oh, so yes, because we've got scouting and stuff. Yeah, and we can trade loot. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, because Gasket doesn't use the abilities on loot, it might be worth you taking the buckler and me taking the multi tool because I from the quick read I had and I think George was suggesting that because I think the buckler is pretty good okay whereas the multi tool is just good <laughs> yeah I mean the buckler is heavy so it takes up three of my slots there is um, that but it adds one to my defense die sorry add one defense die to your roll each turn so basically I get an extra defense die yeah. Every turn. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I can put the defensive die on the buckler to remind you. Yes, I shall do that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right, so we are, we've done the trading, individual options, which I guess is scouting. Yes. Yeah. So I will scout. And I've rolled a four. <clears throat> so I could scout the five point buddy. I think I will, actually. Right, so the five point buddy that we've scouted is. A dire wolf, which has got lashback two. Now lashback is that like counter attack? I think so. Yeah, if I remember right. Now um, my character's ranged, so I think that's okay. Your character is melee dash ranged, so you're a bit of both. Um, yeah, he's he's mostly melee. Okay. Um, yeah, there, there's a few skills I can do at, at range, but right. Mostly... So are we going to keep this on top? Um, yeah, I think it's not too bad because I'm I'm fairly tanky. I should be able to yeah. take that. David Ellis recommends keeping it as well. So there we go. Yeah. Right, you're scouting. Mm -hmm. You rolled a two, so you get to scout a one point buddy, which will be uh, a dire wolf pup. So there you go. <laughs> We've yeah, got a dire wolf with one. a dire wolf pup. Yeah, might as so well keep that. We're going to keep If we're keeping the other one, we're keeping that one. Right, that is the end of the first day. So let's progress to day two. And again, same story as, as last time, in that we've left the gate and we basically, we get attacked. So we have a choice. Do we uh, hail the guards for help? Which means we're gonna get, um, yeah, the, the, the guards are gonna help us. Or we just have a normal fight, but we get an extra training point. Now, the two previous playthroughs, I've chosen this one because I was playing on the easy difficulty setting. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do today? It's up to you, Scott. I'll let you have the choice. Um, I don't mind. Um, I think it's going to be fairly easy anyway. The, the extra training point is useful. Okay, so we're going to go with the bottom one again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go with the bottom one. We are not going to ask the guards for help. If we're successful, we get an extra training point. So we're going to have a fight. The battle queue is made up of four baddie points because two gear locks, day two. So four baddie points is the top four of these. Uh, and off we go. So the first one is the dire wolf pup. Ah, where's the chips? Wait, wait a minute. I'm missing a set of chips. Are you missing my character chip as well? Uh, there. Ah. Right, here are the chest set of chips that I need. I can go over there. Right, okay, so um, baddie number one, baddie number one, is a dire wolf pup with three health. One, two, three. Uh, that is a melee character that has lashback one, 
and has one attack. So that's going to go there. Buddy number two is a bog frog, which has got four health and is a melee character, but it doesn't actually attack and do damage. It just, um, let's put the initiative dice on, it just poisons you. So number one is on initiative three. That's three. Three. Uh, number two is also on initiative three. Right, baddie number three is a griffin yearling with flight, two health, melee character coming in on lane three on initiative five. And baddie number four is another dire wolf pup. Three health coming in there on initiative three. Right, there you go. Boomer chip is wrong side up. Oh, yes. <laughs> well spotted. They're quite hard to see those little stars around there. Right, yeah. we roll our initiative. So I'm on six. Wow. And you're on three. Yeah, okay. So. There we go. Where are we going to start? Uh, what was the skills on the yearling? Um, flight. Flight. Okay. Yeah, know how that works. So, so I it takes off at the end of its turn and then you can't hit it and then it attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Um given that I'm immune to lots of status effects like poison, mm -hmm. I should probably sit myself in front of the poison two one. <laughs> yeah. Now anybody watching this who doesn't know Gasket might be a little bit scared about about this because Gasket only has Oh, I've actually got two health. But yeah, Gasket only has two health. But don't worry, it'll all become clear um, yeah. in a bit as to why Gasket has got very, very little health. So I'm a ranged character. So I should probably want to go... Um, I'm thinking maybe in the corner. Because I can hit everything from there. That sound all right? Yeah, that sounds okay. fine. Right then, so uh, it's me first on initiative six. There's, uh, yeah, there's a couple of other things we need to do on gasket. So, oh at right, the start. Uh, yeah, at the start of the battle, he yeah. gets um, a defense in active slots, which you've already done, which is half his defense stat. Right, so that's automatic at the start of every battle. Yep. 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 And any canisters he he's got get put in his locked slot at their maximum value. Okay. Right, and that's it. That's it. That's the start of the battle then. Yep. Right. Okay. So, me first. Right, I've got four dexterity. I've got two attack, two defense, and I've got this as well. Um, but I'm not really going to get attacked much, am I? I wouldn't have thought. Um, well... At the, the start? Pups, the, yeah, the one pup is going to move in, but not until right at the end. Just going to read about my innate ability. I think my innate ability is just... I start with element, casing, fuse, and boom counter, skill dice in slots one to four. So, yeah, my, <laughs> I start with those four dice. That is my innate ability. So, yeah, so four dexterity. I'm going to have... Uh, I'm going to have two attack... Um, I will have my free dexterity from my reinforced buckler that doesn't cost me any dex. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm going to actually roll two of these dice. So this is how this is how Boomer works: is that you roll these dice during the battle, and you're basically picking up bits off the ground, and you're trying to use those bits to make a to make a grenade. Um, David is telling me to choose the other corner and they're never going to be adjacent to the pups. Does it make that much difference? I'm not sure it makes that much difference. I'll find out. Okay, James is agreeing with him. I'm going to go with this for now and I'll, I'll learn the error of my ways. So I'm going to roll these dice and see what we get. Uh... 
Oh, I needed to choose what I was attacking. Sorry, before looking at them. Um, I'll, I'll choose this die wolf pup. Yeah, I might as well choose this one. So, I've rolled a bones. Uh, I've rolled a three on my... Uh, which one's this? My element casing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that in there. The other one, I'm going to choose not to take that. I'm going to put it in there. And I've done three points of damage, which I believe kills it. It's only got three health. Yeah, so that's that gone. There you go. Done. Georgia was telling me to attack the griffin. Oh, well. Sorry. <laughs> Again, I'm going to be learning this. I'm definitely not an expert at the game. Right, that is me done. So now it's the griffin. Yeah, you're right, because the griffin is going to go next. So let's just remind ourselves what flight does. Flight. At the end of this unit's turn, put a flight effect die on it. If it's already there, remove it. While it's in flight, it's untargetable. Right, okay. So it's going to, it's a melee. It's going to move two. It moves towards you and attacks you for two dice. Uh, two damage, which is your defense gone. And that is now flying. Okay, there you go. Right, it's your go. Yeah, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck the multi-tool in my furnace right. and that sets my power converter to maximum. To maximum, okay. So Which that's that. Three. Discarded the item, you've now got three in your power converter. Yeah. Okay. So I always have to roll Hydra Valve. So that always has to be the first die I pick. Always? Yes, always. Okay. And it costs a dex, mm -hmm. so that's one of my five. You've got five dex. Um, I will roll one attack, because that's all the attack I've got. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's a shame I can't target the... Do I want to move first? Get out of the way of that gearling, because that could hurt. Um, or do I just go defensive I'll just go defensive roll okay. three defense as well three defense dice yeah okay George is saying you can use cut on the griffin oh, of course because he's adjacent yeah yes in that case and it doesn't target so I can still hit it all oh, right so that's a little so, bit yeah. thematic disconnect there Maybe. That does seem a bit odd that you can cut it even though it's flying up there and you can't reach it. But them's the rules. Is that instead of an attack or instead of a defense die? Uh, do it instead of the defense die. Okay. So you've got your Hydra Valve, one attack, yep. two defense, yep. and the cut die. Yeah. Okay. And I will be targeting the thing with poison. So you're targeting the bog frog, yep. but you are also using the cut die against that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's give it a roll. There we go. So you've got a bones on the defense die and two defense. Okay. Right. The, the result on the hydra valve means yeah. I have to tick down the canister by one. Okay. So the canister ticks down to four. Yep. Yep. And, and then what then, happens to this die? Does it get exhausted? Uh, no. So with Gasket, one of the other things that is different is all of his skill dice do not exhaust. Oh, right. Okay. They just go back. Just goes back. However, if I choose to use a skill die, I have to tick down the canister. Right. So I will use the cut. So that, that ticks down places, the canister. Yeah, that ticks down the canister. Yep. And that places a bleed effect die on the flying thing. Yep. And then, yeah, I attack, use the attack to hit the bog frog. Yep, so one damage on the bog frog is down to three health. Yep. Canister is on four, apparently. Well, it started on five. Had to tick it down because of the hydro valve, and then you're saying using the cut also ticks it down? Correct. Yeah, so it's on three. Yep. Yeah. 
Georgia's saying it's on four. Only ticks down once. So the hydro leak from the valve only counts if you don't use any skills that ah. use hydro. Ah. Uh, I misread that. There we go. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right. So you're all done. Yeah. Now, I just need to look at what my backup plan does because I have one bones. And I, that's the bit I've not looked at. Thump oh, target yes. for one damage. If it has not, you've been reduced. What does that exactly mean? Thump target for one damage. Does it mean deal one damage to any target on the board? <laughs> I believe so, yeah. yes. Okay. Um, Just because I'm a ranged I, character. So. Yeah, I, I'm also on my turn. I'm going to use my bones. You are going to use um, it? Yeah, because it, it gives me uh, an extra defense. So it adds or increases a defense die by one. So add another defense into my active. Right. Okay, right. So now it is this direwolf pup, which is melee. Um, and it can get, it, there is a path. Five that way and one, two, three, four, five that way. So it doesn't really matter which way it goes. But we'll send it that way. Um, and then the bog frog doesn't do any attack, but does poison too, but you're immune. Which I'm immune to, yeah. Right. Nice. Uh, I'm just checking the chat. Um, okay, so thump is not any target. Oh, sorry, thump target for one damage. So the target that I chose earlier, gotcha. Right, okay, thank you. That is it, that is the end of the round. We go to round two. Me first, so I can't target the, the griffin. Um, and there's very little point in me targeting the bog frog because it's just hitting you and doing nothing. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go for this. And again, I'm, that's not actually going to get to us. Yeah, yeah. that is not going to get to us this round. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to spend two decks on rolling that. Um, and then I'll just roll two attack. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I need any defense, he says. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, Andre is asking, Boomer is from the base game, Gasket is from an add-on. Okay, so I've got two from that. I'll take that. I'm going to put the one fuse back, and I've done two damage. So two damage onto that. That's down to one. And that is me done. So now we do the Griffin Yearling. So the bleed means it takes one true damage at the start of its turn. And then it attacks you for two dice. Yeah. It's rolled two damage. So that's that gone. Yeah. Uh, and then it is no longer flying. But we can ignore that anyway, because it's going to die at the start of its next turn. Yeah. Your go. Uh, so... so Hydro Valve. Hydro valve. Might as well roll cut again. Actually, how much health does the bog frog have left? He's got three left. Three left. Yeah, I'll roll cut again. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, my one attack and the rest defense. Two more defense. Yeah. Okay. Did I roll the buckler die? I think I did. I think the buckler die. I think I did. Oh, but on my turn. Oh no, on my turn, I no, forgot no, to roll it. No, I don't think you did. There you go. Thank you. Right. You got two more bones. <laughs> uh, right, okay, that's good. One attack and cut. So, yeah, might as well use those. So, tick down the canister. Need another another bleed effect. There you go, bleed effect. So take down the canister because you're using the bleed, which means that doesn't kick in. Yep. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I need to recharge the buckler. I'll still forget. 
Done. Yes. So direwolf pup moves two to there. Doesn't attack. Uh, the bog frog takes the damage and then tries to poison you and is very confused as to why this big metal thing is not getting poisoned. Yeah. Round three. She should have used my... Um, well, everything is everything is going to die this turn from the bleed. Yeah, of course. Uh, except for the die wolf pup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll my um, fuse. That cost one. Uh, and then I'll just roll. So, so that's three. So that's one, two, three. Might as well have a defense die. You never know. Okay, excellent. So I got a two on there. I've got one defense. I have two more bones. And I have dealt one damage, which is enough to kill the die wolf pup. Okay, so I've got three bones. And the, 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 the battle is going to be over this round. So, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to use these bones for anything. <laughs> no. Because I could... No, I can't thump my target. Reroll an unused scavenger die. I, all of my scavenger dice are used. Um, and the third one is select an occupied position. This, that unit is immediately moved to an adjacent position. We, we don't want to do that either. No. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. But what I've now got is I've got, if we have a look at my sheet, I've now got these. So what I do is I can tick these down, tick that one down by one, tick that one down by one, and that one down by one, to give myself a boom counter, which is basically a grenade. I wonder if I can do that more than once. Um... To use it to making grenades. Boomer is always looking for components to make grenades. Once she has at least one of each component, she may decrease that, that, and that by one and increase her boom counter by one. The boom counter is never rolled. Now, can I do that multiple times on the same turn? That is the question. Doesn't say it's limited to once per turn. Yeah, not sure. You can do it as much as you want. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to take those two down. I'm going to take that one down. And I've now got two grenades. Nice. Okay, and that is my go done. So the griffin takes one damage from the from the bleed, and then it's your go. You want to finish off this bog frog? Yeah, might as well. Um, so I've got to roll the hydra valve. Yeah. You know, there's no point bleeding it again, so I'll just roll an attack and some defense. So I've got one locked. I can roll three defense dice. Why don't you roll four defense? Because there's more bones on a defense die. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, because it's going to die anyway, isn't it? It's going to die anyway, and if you get four bones, yeah. then uh, you can upgrade. So yeah, you'll have to unslot my, my one shield. Right, yes, because that's counted as being used, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not quite four bones. No. Two. Ah, right. So the green bone on yeah. that one, it means I must place it in the backup's plan, and then I must use the backup plan. Oh, um, right. And I can do it in any order. So if it was beneficial for me to slot it and then yeah. use it and then put any remaining bones in, I could do that. Mm -hmm. um, so let me check the backup plan. I don't think it's going to make any difference. No. no. Yeah, I'll I'll just do the... What's it on? Four. Right. Yeah, no, it doesn't make any difference. No. So you use this, but it doesn't do anything. Okay. And then that takes down to two. Okay. Uh, and then on the bog frog's turn, it dies yeah. from the poison. Where's the bad guys? Bad guys. Dead bad guys are over there. Excellent. Right. That is the end of our first <clears throat> nice, easy fight. 
Yeah, yeah. If, if the battle wasn't going to end as George was um, suggesting, I would do dehumidifier yeah. first and then, but yeah, battle's over anyway. <laughs> yeah. So what happens to this um, primary canister? Does that go back? So, yeah, it goes back and it go when it, at the start of the next battle, it will come back. Come back to five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my bones disappear, my defense die disappears. Now this, this one here, uh, I can keep it here if I want to, because this represents that I've found um, some circuitry, but uh, not some circuitry, some elements, but I'm not going to. I'm going to exhaust it because the one is the weakest result on there. So I'm just going to put that back. Uh, that goes back there, that goes back there, that goes back there. There you go. Right. Okay. So, um, we gain a training point for because we chose that one, and a training point and a loot each. Yeah. So two training points and a loot. I, I'll get my loot first. I've drawn some ogot herbs. Okay, that's all right. Uh, and you've drawn last battle stew. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's, that's probably one I shouldn't eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we might want to swap that for the herbs. Although the herbs are pretty good as well. Yeah, they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hit points on the battle stew. Okay. Uh, at the start of each new day, remove one for spoilage outside of battle. Any gear lock. Yeah, I quite like the Ogot herbs because it's in battle. Mm. So, hmm. Interesting. Right, anyway, we've got two training points. Yes. Um... Well. I think I'm going to take Frag. Which seems to be the common first one of choice. Um, I've got four decks. That's looking okay. I'll take Frag, but I think I'm going to take Health as well. Yeah. George will shout at me if I'm uh, <laughs> not doing it right. Okay, what would you like as your two training points? Um, I'm going to take a Health as well. Okay. And then I'm going to take one of my directive dice which is the blue ones in the yeah uh bottom right you corner any and of yeah i think i'll go with the aggro one which is 15. yeah so dice number 15. okay yeah. that is in so that is our two training points done. We've got our loot done. It's another progress. So we need six progress to, def to, to take on uh, Mulmesh. And now we go to day three. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't go to day three. We scout first. So my scouting oops, is a five. So I can scout another one on the five point body stack. So I will. And I've scouted. An owl bear. So, uh, so. Inspire means it will automatically activate the next one in its in the yeah the, the queue, think, not the queue, the initiative track. Yeah. And with initiative four, it's going to be fairly high. Yeah. George is saying the dreaded Albert, the worst five point buddy in the base game. Okay, so I guess that's going yeah. to the bottom then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That is going to the bottom. Thank you for that. Yeah, I wasn't sure what Terrify not did. Good. Terrify is not good. <laughs> right. Well, it's gone. Your scouting is a one. So you've scouted uh, a clay golem, which has got break. Now, somebody said earlier on you're immune to break. Is that right? Um. Sort of, because he can use um, skill dice that don't exhaust 
to right. attack stuff. He doesn't have to roll attack dice. Right. So your attack dice would exhaust, but your yeah. skill dice don't? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, I haven't really got much of my attacking dice ready yet. So break could be a bit nasty against us. Yeah, um, see, I came across this when I was playing patches and I was just like, okay, well, I'll just run away from it and then fatigue it to death. Yeah. I mean, he's fairly slow, so we could kill him fairly quickly. Yeah. I mean, he, initiative yeah. two. And I've got my flag um, grenade. So, yeah, I was thinking only, keep it. Only but, rolls one. Yeah. David yeah, says keep, keep it. it as well. Okay. Yeah. There you go. That's that done. Now it's the end of the day. So we start the new day. We tick down the the last battle stew. So that started to go off. Uh, we move to day three. We get the third card, which again, I'm not going to read uh, the flavor on it because it is the same day three card as, we, as we've always had. It is crossing the river. The choices are uh, walk like a commoner. Now I've done, I've done both of these last time mm. I played. So which one do you want to do now? Do you want the progress point and the training point, or do you want the trove loot? Um, I, for me, trove loot isn't any better than any other loot. So <laughs> yeah. no, I'm I'm happy with the top one. I, yeah, I'd, I'd like to do that one. Yeah, okay, so we're doing the top one. We're going to tuck our ears in and walk like a commoner, which I don't quite know how you're going to do that. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to roll a d6 for each gear lock in the party. Uh, if there's a one or two, our party is spotted. Nope, we've got a four and a six. Cool. Um, so we're okay. Yeah. Right, so we get one progress and a training point. Oh, and another progress for the actual card itself. So we're on four progress already. Right, training point time. I'm going to take smoke screen. Okay. It's time to go a bit more aggressive. I think I'm going to take blitz. Uh, Blitz, that is a uh, mode, what does that say? Uh, derail. Derail, right, okay. Yeah. Um, so, skill number three. There you go. Right. Um, scouting time again. So, my scouting is a four, your scouting is a three. So I get to look at the next five point buddy. Is it another owlbear? No, it is a griffin howler. So it's got dive, flight, and signal. So I think dive basically boosts the flight. Yeah. Don't know what signal one does. Doesn't that bring in? Uh, yes. So that will bring in a um, one point buddy for a single round. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's, it's added to the bottom of the body queue. What do we think about uh, this one? Dive. What does dive do? If the flight effect die is active on this unit, at the start of its turn, immediately place this unit adjacent to the weakest available opposing unit. Okay, so it literally dives on top of you. It's got three attack. Mm. It's almost certainly going to be hitting me because yeah. <laughs> I'm the weakest. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, it's not too bad. It's only five health. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm tempted to bury it. Okay, we're going to put that on the bottom. And then we get to look at another one on the one stack. Yeah. And we found another bog frog. So we'll keep oh, that. Yeah, keep that, yeah. That goes underneath the clay golem. Right, okay, scouting is done. That is the end of day three. So we're now moving on to day four. Lose another one from there. I'm going to put a defense die back on my buckler so I don't forget. Right, day four. I'm going to read the thing now. We have the mystery in the mountain. This is intriguing. After many days, this is the first time we found a mine shaft carved into a mountain. By the looks of it, the tunnels must be uh, must travel deep within. 
Perhaps it's a secret passage, someone chimes. Or maybe it leads to a glorious treasure vault, another adds. Myself, I wouldn't be surprised if it's the entrance to a sadistic dragon's oven, and we're the main course. Regardless, the sentries posted at the entrance are a serious threat. And the rare and ornately engraved weapons they are holding are mesmerising and very tempting. Is it worth the risk? We have three choices. We can... Let's see how deep this rabbit hole goes. We have a battle with body points, which will be eight. And we had a five point body for every gear lock to the bottom, but we get trove loot. Mm -hmm. We stick to the sentries, which is uh, body points equal to eight, followed by six more body points to the queue, and then a one point body for every gear lock in the party, but we get a training point. Or scout and return. If we scout and return, we reveal two buddies in your active stacks, which we can move to the bottom, but then we put this encounter back on top of the deck and we don't get any rewards but it so it uses a day oh I've, I've had this before i had this in the first place right yeah it's a big one uh, it's, t it's two progress and it's two training points anyway yeah so we so the middle one is eight middle one's eight. Eight. yeah middle one's 14 Plus the top one, one points. would be 18. Yeah. Well, the middle one's 16, isn't it? Six, uh, eight. 40. Oh, oh, yeah, plus the two. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's do the middle one. Yeah, middle one. This is going to be a tough fight. But... Yeah. Okay. So we're going to make a battle queue made up of eight... So it's a five. I should have gone for another canister. <laughs> plus three ones. Oh no, it's not five plus three ones. It's fourteen. It's yeah. It's add six points to the battle queue. Why doesn't it just say body points plus six? Not sure. <laughs> yeah. So I think I think it's fourteen, which is two fives and four ones. Uh, or do you build? You build the bandy queue first, and then you add a five and a one. That's what I'm thinking. The battle queue is bandy points. Let's just put it on again so you can see. Uh, George is saying it's two five points and six one points. Okay. It's just the way that this is worded. This six points to the battle queue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's the way we're going to do it. We're gonna we're going to make a battle queue of fourteen, and then we're going to add two ones to the bottom yeah which is effectively one two three four five six seven eight right okay so there is the battle queue right okay yeah this is going to be a tough fight this one yeah right the first one is a stone golem uh it's got break it's got corrosive if it rolls a bones this is big and tough yeah okay um, corrosive gets rid of Defense dice. Yeah, that's not good. So it's got seven health as well. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a melee, and it's going on position one. Okay. The second buddy is a Cobalt Elite, which is hardy and has compound. Does that mean it just gets tougher as the game goes on? Yeah. I think. One, two, three, four, five. Again, melee, lane two. Uh, let's just do the initiative. So the initiative of the first one is three, initiative of the second one is three. Right, the third one is our friendly clay golem. So that is number three, which is also melee. And is going on initiative two. And then finally, we have the, well, I say finally, there's four more after this. We have the bog frog that we can pretty much ignore, I think, depending on our positioning. Yeah, what happened to the dire wolf, five point dire wolf that you scouted? Uh, that should have been on the top of the five point. That's stack. a good question. I think I accidentally moved it to one side. Yes, I did. Okay, so forget that. We don't have the cobalt elite. 
that is there, and we have that instead. Thank you. Yes. So we have six health on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that is initiative four. Right, so. Yeah, forget the uh, forget the COBOL delete. I'll 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 mix that in a bit, but not put it right on the bottom. So we've got the dire wolf as the first one. We've got the stone golem as the second one. We've got the clay golem as the third one, and the bog frog as the fourth one. Yeah. yeah, the bomb on the golem looks good. Yes. So this bomb, I am I'm going to be using this bomb. <laughs> I'm going to be using this grenade. Um, and now I do have two grenades. If we look at my character sheet. I have two grenades, um, but, and every time I use this die, it's, it's exhausted. So what that means, I, I don't have two frag grenades in the battle. I have, effectively, I've got one of those and one of those, if I choose to use it. Yep. But yeah. Yeah, there's a bomb going on the golem, I think. So where would you like to start? Do you want to roll our initiative first? Ah, uh, yeah. We do that before we choose where we start? Yeah. We do, yeah. Okay, so I'm on six, you're on three. Not okay. too bad. And you need to move the green die ahead of the yellow one. Green die ahead of the yellow one. Oh, yes. It's initiative two. There you go. <sighs> right, I... The order they came out in is not great because part of me wants to sit in front of the poison two yeah. thing because yeah, then I it doesn't attack me. But mm -hmm. then um, it looks like the the golem is going to move next to me and then start taking away my defense with the corrosiveness. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's only if it rolls a bones. But it is rolling it is. five dice. Yeah. Yeah, we we want to kill that really quickly. Yeah, um, well, I'm going to throw a grenade going, at it. It's going after me. Yeah, I'm going to hit it with everything I've got right from the start. And I could put a smoke screen on you. Which means you won't get attacked. Ah, but the dire wolf goes ahead of me. So That's if I sit true. in front of the poison, the dire wolf will move. Uh, is it targeting weakest? Dire wolf is. is targeting weakest. Yeah. So yeah, it will move next to me. Mm -hmm. That means the golem won't be able to get to me. Correct. Yeah, I like that. So yeah, put me in front of the the bog frog. Yeah, and I go here. Yeah. Think. Okay. Uh, Teddy is yeah. saying we should start on the left-hand side. Mm. I don't know. I quite like leaving this next to you that's doing absolutely nothing. What does that target? The strongest or the weakest? It, the, the bog frog targets the strongest, but it's melee. Yeah. If we were to start the other side... Uh-huh. So... You'd still have the same thing with the die wolf moving next to me, so the golem couldn't get to me. The bog frog would head towards you. Yeah, I mean, we, that would risk the bog frog attacking you and poisoning you. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I think the right hand side is better. Yeah. Okay, just remind me of the targeting rules. Is that a tiebreaker? In other words, they'll always go for the one that's the closest, and that's the tiebreaker? Yes. Right, okay, yeah. Okay, right, off yeah, we go then. Actually, actually on the left-hand side, maybe it won't, because I'd be closer. Well, George is but saying the left-hand I... side is bad, 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 bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I would I would be un, unaccessible, because the dire wolf would move forwards. I'd be trapped with you behind me. So yeah, the poison one would go for you. Yeah, right is better. Okay, right. I've just got a little smell of burning coming from here. 
Now, I don't know what it is, but I do have some new LED lights that seem to be getting very hot. Okay. So just bear with us a minute, because I've got a big reel of them, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm not using all of them. So they're kind of all still rolled up, and unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, they're... <laughs> They are, they are burning. Right. If you ever buy a strip of LED lights, make sure you unroll them before you turn them on. Top tip. There you go. Yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of the burning smell. Right. Okay. So, my go. I am going to target. Uh, now, should I target the stone golem? I think I probably should. Just remind myself of what break does. I thought that was just attack dice. It is just attack dice, yes. Just attack dice, right, okay. So. Uh, yeah, any attack dice you. So I don't really need to use attack dice if I don't want to. <laughs> right, okay. Yes, too many bones is waterproof, but not fireproof, yeah. There you go. Stay there. Um, so yeah, so if I were to use my attack dice, that's it. That's the attack dice gone. So I don't think I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is I am going to use my bomb. So let me just remind myself what it does. Uh, the frag bomb. Small explosion deal hash damage to unit on this position and half damage to all units on adjacent positions. So yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one with that. Um, I've got four. So there's one. Now the smoke screen, I can... The next hash times a buddy targets this unit with an attack. Yeah, I can use the smoke grenade as well, but that would tick the counter down. Yeah. So to use a grenade, did it decrease boom counter by one during the determined target phase. I think that's probably the safest thing to do. Yeah. So I'm uh, going to use both of my grenades. And then I'm going to roll two decks. Plus my reinforced buckler. You you can use the you can use the attack on the direwolf. So that's your target and oh. then you throw the bombs at Gollum. Ah, right. It's a separate thing. Right. Yes. So, yeah, and so I, my... think, I think you don't have to actually right. decide where your bombs are going. You roll them and then okay. you decide. So my target for the attack is the direwolf. That is getting two attack. And yeah. then using the bomb, I'm then using the smoke screen. And I'm also getting the free defense dice from the buckler. Yeah. Okay, right. There's the roll. And the, and the grenade is going, uh, is going there. So... Oh, nice. Right. Yeah, you do. So, a few things. I've got a bones, which can go in there. I've done one damage. Yeah, you do decide before. Okay. Um, I've got one shield from the buckler. I've done three, which is all right. So there's a three going on there, and then there's a smoke screen going on you. Now... I wonder if this smoke, if this grenade works in the similar way to the uh, to patches, in that I have to spend the grenade, and then if I don't use the dice and put it back, the grenade is still spent. I think it is. You cannot choose not to throw the grenade. Oh, okay, right. There we go. So one, two, three damage to that, and then one damage because it's half rounded down for anything adjacent to it. That's not too bad. That's gone there. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the smoke grenade, I believe, goes on you. Yeah. A stroke A A stroke C T R. Oh, it goes in your active slot. Right. Speaking of active slots, do you want to give me my two defense? And yeah, move that up as well. So your two defense goes in there, and your thing goes in. Now you're limited to three active slots. Yes. So by me giving you this... It does slightly limit how much defence I can have, yes, but I think that's fine, because, yeah, I... 
Okay, it means you're not going to get any damage from this dire wolf. Yeah. That's yeah. It, it's it's so it, it's going like to disappear having... anyway. Yeah. yeah. Now, if I wanted to, I could use this throw odds right now to deal another damage to the dire wolf. And I'm I'm tempted to do that. Yeah, how much has it got um, Health. Got four health left. Yeah, that might be Yeah, I think game. I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to use my backup plan. I'm going to get rid of the bones and deal it another damage. Okay, right. Done. Final answer. So, that's me done. Uh, now it's the dire wolf, so it can reach you in two. So it does. And it's attacking you for four. So... One, two, three, four. Okay. So it got a bones which does nothing and it's done three damage. Oh, in fact, the smoke screen goes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the smoke screen does. The next time a baddie targets this unit with an attack and or skill, it will miss. Right, so we didn't need to roll, it just missed. Nice. Right, now it's you. Uh, right, so I've got to roll the Hydra Valve. You do. Um, am I going to put cut on that? And the two she's saying isn't throw odds reroll. No, throw odds no. is just thump target for one damage. All it does. Yeah. Nice and simple. Yeah, they're thinking of search again, which is your mm. number two backup plan. Uh, so the dying wolf has three health left. Got three health so, left. Yeah. So probably don't need to use Blitz on it, although well, maybe I should just use Blitz on it. Yeah, I'll go with Blitz. Um, I will roll Cut as well. Yeah. And then... Um, two Defense. Two Defense? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Right. So, two defense on there. You've got a bones yeah. on here. You've got another bones on there that you must then use. Uh, okay, in that case... But you can do them in whatever order you want. Yeah. Do the, the must use one first. Yeah. For hot fix. Which puts Which a defense adds, die on. Yeah, adds or increases a defense die. Yeah. And then that goes there. Yeah. So we have a bleed. I find bleed. So bleed will go on the bog frog. Oh. Because it yep. doesn't have to be the target. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the blitz. Yeah. What does the blitz do? Uh, which side is rolled on uh, that? Spiky, spiky thing with the two on it. Oh, so that's two damage. Um, it's energy arc deal. Uh, amount of damage to an adjacent unit. All units adjacent to that take the amount minus one. Oh, nice. So, yeah, that's on the, the dire wolf. Yeah, so two damage on the dire wolf, which then does one damage to that. Yeah. Now, is it all units? Uh, it's an adjacent unit. Oh, right, okay. So, so I, I choose which one it goes you on. You choose. Okay, nice. Yeah. And then that skill goes back. Yes. And the cut goes back. And I have to tick down the canister by two. Because you I use two things. Right, yeah. okay. So your dice are reusable, but it ticks down the canister each time. Yes. What does yeah. the power converter do? Uh, so that uh, allows me to heal HP. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. Okay. So it's effectively three heals. Right. Um, yeah, if the if the canister runs out, which it may well do in this battle, and is why I said I should have taken a second canister, Right. Um, I will start taking damage on my turn. But obviously then I can use the power converter to counteract that. Okay. Uh, George says the canister went down by oh, three. Oh, yes, it should have gone down by three, yeah. Because you used which skills? 
Uh, yeah, so the, the first skill die you use costs one, the second one costs two, and then the oh, third one right. costs three. So, yeah, it right, okay. increases. Cool, right. All done. Yep. Purple. The stone golem. So that moves around here trying to... Yeah, so it, it, it's going to go for me, isn't it? So it goes one, two, and then can't attack. The green one takes the damage from the bleed and then attacks you and puts poison on you. And can't. Yep. And then the yellow one moves two towards me. Oh, yeah, I forgot the directive die. <laughs> that should have been rolled. Um, yeah, the, the blue die. You roll it at... With all my other dice, it doesn't cost decks. Okay. And it must be resolved before the other ones. Okay. So you've got so, one feet. One feet. So that moves. So must move one adjacent position, uh, which I couldn't. You couldn't? In that no. position. So, yeah, that's fine. Nice. Right. Okay. End of the round. Round two. No bad guys died. So no more oh, lash back. I take lashback damage from the wolf. Oh, you do? I, I am affected by that. Yes. Yeah. So what's that? Two. Uh, is it two? Two damage. Two damage as long as it was damage. not defeated. Yeah. Which comes off the shields, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you very much, George. Right, so yes, round two, me first. So what's going to happen here is um, the wolf is going to attack you next. Yep. With for four attack. So yep. I'm probably best trying to kill the wolf. I think. Uh, or the golem the golem is really nasty yeah but as soon as i kill the golem that's my attack dice gone it is yeah oh yeah and you don't have any other stuff left, i have so... no other stuff yeah so i think it's just gonna have to be two attack dice my buckler and i am going to use these two dice to do a bit of scavenging Who's going to go next after? Yeah, I think the stone gold is going to go for you because this is not going to be there. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. There you go. That's the dice I'm going to roll. Is that five? Yeah, that's five. Four plus my free one. Okay. So I found one of those and one of those. I don't want those. They can go back. We don't want those dice. I got a bones on the defence, and I've done two damage, which is the wolf dead. Okay, so something's going to enter at the end of the round. Uh, that's me done. So okay. you're going. How much health on the golem? Three. And I've. No, I'm still at full health. So maybe I should go for the golem. Uh, there's a question in the chat from Nikki. Um, I'm going to try and concentrate on this game at the moment. I am, however, doing a live Q&A on Wednesday night. So if you have any any questions whatsoever, live Q&A, 5 p.m. Wednesday night. Um, yeah, I'll, I will answer whatever questions you have at the time. But for the moment... Just going to try and stick to stick to too many bones. So, that. where's your thingy dice gone? There. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the bulk frog is not that much risk now because it is no. going to die within a couple of rounds anyway from bleed. So, do I move across to the golem, try and kill it before it gets a turn? I think so. Because it's yeah. big, nasty, and tough. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, spend one dex moving me next to the golem. So that's one dex. Yeah. We've got 
four left, which is that one. We've that one's got free. To spend that. We've got three left. And I've only got two canister left. Um, I think I go with Blitz. And then do I use the attack die or do I just roll defense? Hope that I can kill it. Uh, Ricky? Yeah. I'll use the attack die. Okay. And then one defense. You've still got one left if you want. Do I? Sorry. Well, that, that's free, isn't it? The aggro. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've got to roll that. Uh, so one one for the Hydra Valve. Yeah. One to move. Oh, yeah, one to move. Yeah. Yeah, one to okay. blitz. Direction, yeah. Right. Aggro dice first. You've drawn... You've rolled that one, which looks like a... That is the a zappy blast. thing. Deal... Uh, an amount of damage to a non-adjacent unit. And it's red, so you must use it. Yeah. Uh, is it just a one? One damage to a non-adjacent unit, yeah. Okay, might as well do that to the thing in the corner then. Yep. Yeah. Okay. A hundred messages just appeared in the chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... How weird. What is happening with the chat? Yeah, the chance strange. Yeah. Not sure what's happening, but every time somebody sends a message to the chat, it seems to... I don't know. That's weird. Not seen that before. Yeah. The chat is magical. Yeah, so what's weird <laughs> is the chat is only is showing up on my stream, but it's not actually showing up on YouTube. <laughs> I've not had that before. Now it's showing up on YouTube. Um, yeah, the chat okay. is magical. How weird. Yeah, weird. Yeah. Right, okay, so the, the directive die can go back. Yeah. The, go back. Uh, is that a one damage on the blitz? Uh, yes, one damage on the blitz, uh, and you've got a two damage normally. Okay, so that's enough to kill the... Right. I'm going to try and fix the chat very quickly. That is a yeah. that is a very weird thing. I've not seen that before. But then again, I'm fairly used to. I'm fairly new to this whole um, Streamlabs thing. So let's just put that on and put that on. Let's basically, reset it. There you go. Let's see what happens. The chat will disappear, but it'll be back in a minute. No, nope, it's still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Very unusual. Me and chat programs, they don't seem to work well together. So I might as well, um, yeah, use the, even though it's going to exhaust it, use the attack die and the blitz on the golem. Which kills it. Yeah, which kills it and ticks the canister down by one. Canister goes down by one. That attack dice is now exhausted, so you can't do an, use an attack dice again. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And is the Hydra Valve, is that on the... It um, is, is on the, uh, the... If you didn't use one, then you lose one. Yeah, okay, so that just goes back. Yeah, and you got a defence. And, yeah, slot the defence. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with the chat, so apologies for that. It's it's doing a very, very strange thing where it's just constantly refreshing uh, every time. Um, yeah, how unusual. And it was working fine at the start, but now it's going weird. So the purple one is gone. Uh, the bog frog is going for the strongest, which is me. So it takes a damage. Uh, it then moves to here and then poisons me for two. 
Ouch. Okay. Um, that's the green one done. Then the yellow one is going for the strongest, which is me. So it moves one, two, and it attacks me for one. Which is a one, and I've got a shield, which is a zero. Right, okay. We're done. End of the round. So we get some new things appearing. The first one is a, uh, a griffin yearling, which arrives on lane one melee, followed by a kobold tracker, which has got hardy and compound, which arrives as a ranged character on lane two. Yeah, Boomer's Bomb killed the chat. That, that must be it. <laughs> Definitely right. So yeah, we've got a uh, Griffin Yearling here, uh, mm -hmm. followed by Cobalt Tracker there. So. Okay, what does the Tracker do? Uh, the Tracker has Hardy and Compound. Okay, so it's going to get harder to kill. Well, no, it's going to attack more. And yeah. Hardy is... Which Hardy. one is that? That's the... Any turn this unit takes damage. Oh yeah, it gift. only ever takes one, yeah. Per turn. Yeah. Right, okay. And the definition of a turn is when a character is acting, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So we need to put these on the board. Now, where do new ones arrive? New ones arrive at the bottom, unless they are tyrants or 20-point baddies, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So round three. Me first. Yeah. Well, I take two damage from the poison. Yeah. Poison ticks down. Um, well, I'm tempted to go for the griffin yearling. Mm hmm Because I'm kind of not that bothered about this clay golem. Yeah. Yeah, go for the, the yearling. It's not great. Actually, which one's the yearling? The flying one. I don't know. Go for the other one. This one? Yeah. Yeah, hardy and compound are, are not nice. Okay. Because it, it's, yeah, it's just going to attack for more and more. Right, okay. And but I'm, I'm only going to be able to do one damage to it. So, okay. I'll roll my two attack dice. Uh, and I'll roll my free defense dice. And since I'm going to get hit by quite a lot, I'm going to roll two more defense dice. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Yes, I got a damage. I've done it a damage. Um, I got two defenses there. And I've got a bones which I can put in there. Right. That is me done. You're up next. Oh, healing. Yes, thank you. I have the Ogot herbs. I'd forgotten about them. There we go. Just in case. Just in case. Right. What would you like to do? Uh, kill the golem, I think. If I can. I've got four one. health left. Yeah. It's going to be difficult. And I've only got one canister. So, yeah. So I'm not going to be You're not fancy trying to so... take out the kobold tracker? Maybe. Maybe I'll move to there. Um... Although this does have break. So if you can get rid of this... Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and I've only got one canister left. Yeah. Which, which means I'm then not going to be able to roll skill dice. Right. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go. So, I've got to roll. I have to go after the goal. Yeah. That needs to die. Okay. So I've got to roll Hydra Valve, I've got to roll the Directive, and 
Blitz is probably the better of the two, although Bleed... No, just go for Blitz. And then uh, take my I mean, two... You can roll them both, one. can't you, and then choose which one you want to use? I can, yeah. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Because, yeah, if I miss on the yeah. Blitz, I can put Bleed on it, hopefully. Okay. I think the chat uh, seems to have take... fixed itself. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Take out one of the um, shield. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I've still got one left. Actually, take out the other one shield. <laughs> Might as well roll two of them. Yeah. Okay. For that. Here we go. Right. Your directive dice is one movement. Okay. So I have to do that. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Okay, um, I don't think the chat has fixed itself. The chat seems to now be repeating. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I do not know what is going on with the chat today. There's obviously some bug with it, but it seems yeah. to now just be repeating. Yeah, yeah it's repeating the last. It's four repeating things. the last set of messages. I'm I'm just going to go in, and I'm. <laughs> how very odd. Oh, very odd. I'm going to change it to um, a different view. It's probably not going to fix the problem, but we we will see. Alpa's here. He's going to watch it later on. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so that's so, really bad. Yeah. Right. So I did get bleed. I did get. Is that? One on the blitz, or uh, it's a one on the blitz, and you did get the bleed. the bleed. Yes, yes, and I have to move. So maybe I move up because the bleed and the blitz have to be to an adjacent unit. Yeah, so I need to end the move next to something. So if I move up to the purple Yeah, you space. could put bleed on the cobalt tracker, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the chat is still repeating, even though I, uh, <laughs> I've reset it with a different view. Yeah, do that. Okay. Put bleed on the tracker. And bleed goes on the tracker. That uses my last canister. The blitz goes back. That goes back. Uh, right. Yes, yeah, slot that. Yes, yeah, slot both of them. And then I'll also use the hot fix to increase the one to a two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. That's you done. So now it's the bog frog which dies from bleeding. Uh, then it is the clay golem that attacks me. He has me one damage. That's one of my shields gone. Um, then it's the blue one, which is the griffin yearling. So that attacks you. Two damage. Two shields gone. And then it flies. Uh, and then the cobalt tracker takes the damage from the bleed and also dies. Nice. Okay, does yeah. armor block poison? I don't believe so. I think poison is true damage. No. Yeah, poison is true damage. Yeah. Right, okay, end of the round. So we have the final two baddies coming in. The first one is another cobalt tracker, Oof. fortunately. <laughs> this is coming in exactly where the old one was yeah. uh, followed by a dragon whelp which has weaken oh. uh, which is ranged so again they come on they come in at the bottom right okay so next round I take a damage from the poison the poison is then gone uh, I am going to use the ogot herbs to heal for one um 
So again, I can't really afford to use my attack dice on this clay golem. Until the end. Yeah. So I think I'm going to have to go for the Cobalt Tracker, because we're now on round four. Yeah. So, two attack. Uh... Yeah, two attack, two defense. Yeah, tough fight. Oh, plus my buckler. Oh, so not two attack, two defense. Two attack, two defense, and I'm going to roll to see if I can find some bits. Okay. You would have to take your um, shield out to roll two defense, I think. Uh, no, I'm only rolling one defense. Oh, of course. The yeah. other one is one the buckler. The buckler. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I've dealt it a damage and I've found one of those, but no, I'm just going to put that back. Right, apparently the chat is fixed. So I'm going to go back to the original chat layout because I didn't like, I don't like that new one. <laughs> I prefer the other one. Let's go with that one. Um, there you go. Right, I think. Oh, I've got these. I could. I could search again on this. No, I, I think I need to save these bones until I get to throw ends, because that will deal three damage. Yes, that's what I need to do. Yeah, right. I need to try and get power spike. <laughs> Your go. What, what are you going to do now? Your canister is at zero. It, yeah. What is it you can I, do? All I can do is move and roll defense. Right. Um, which I think is probably worth doing and trying to get. Well, I take damage at the start of my turn because my canister's on zero. Oh, you take damage, dear. Yeah. Oh dear. We might not survive this. <laughs> yeah. It's been good though. <laughs> uh, so I think. The thing so you still have to roll the hydro valve, I guess. Yeah, I have to roll that. I have to roll the directive. Yeah, George is saying you can heal with the power converter. Yeah. Um, the thing in the corner's got weaken, hasn't it? Uh, this one up here, the dragon whelp has weaken. Yes. Yeah. So I think if I move next to that, because I, I'm immune to weaken. Yep. So that's. That's one. Another one. So two. that's th two, two so far. Um, so I might as well just roll for bones and defense. So um, I can roll two. Yeah, unslot one of the defense and roll that as well. Okay, yeah. here we go. Uh, George, you're saying you don't have to roll the directive? Oh, yeah. No, it, it's it's free anyway. Right. So but you don't, I might as well. It's not a must that you have to roll yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, you've rolled it and you've got a bones. Okay. Now it's a red bones, if that matters. Uh, must be placed in backup plan. Okay. But it doesn't have to trigger it. Uh, and then you've got just got three little ones, unfortunately. Yeah, so... You can't combine them together, can you? Or can you? No, no. I don't. No, I don't think so. Yeah, so one of them's wasted. I might as well use the hot fix to increase one of those to a two. Okay. Right. And then I will tick down the power converter to get that health back that I lost at the beginning of the turn. Okay. There we go. Done. Yeah. Yellow. It is the clay golem. It is attacking me. It's rolling one dice. Gets one damage. That removes one of my shields. Next is blue, uh, which goes for you. And it attacks you with two dice, dealing you three damage. Okay. It is no longer flying. Uh, then the purple one moves down here. Oh no, the purple one is ranged. Yeah. 
Uh, so it goes for the weakest, which is you. Yeah. Rolling four dice. Mm -hmm. This is going to hurt. <laughs> uh, that's four damage. Yeah, so that's two off the shields and two off me. Yeah. You're down to one. Yeah. Uh-oh. Um, and then the green one. Yes. Attacks me. Yeah. Ah, yeah, it attacks me. Not you. So it's Over two. you on... Because it's ranged. Oh, uh, and I'm on four health. No. Oh, so it's going for the stronger one. Going for the stronger one and distance doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's dealt me two damage, which is that. And it's got one defense, which is that. And it's got weaken one. Now, I've had weaken before. Place a weaken effect die. My dex yeah, is reduced by one next much. turn. Right, that is the end of the round. You yep. go to round five. Yeah. My go. My dex is reduced by one, so I only have three decks. I get a free buckler. Um, so I'm going to have two attack and one defense, and I'm going to target the Cobalt Tracker. Yeah, Cobalt Tracker is dead. Ooh. Uh, and those ones can go in there. Okay, that's me done. Your go. Do you die? I die, yeah. You're KO'd. So, is it you're removed from the board, or do you stay where you are? Removed from the board, removed yeah. From the board. Right, so you're knocked out. Uh, then it is the yellow one, which is this one, so this attacks me, dealing me one damage. Uh, then the blue one moves one, two, and attacks me. Double bones, which is no penalty for it, so that's no damage. Uh, and then the dragon whelp attacks me. For two damage, so that's one damage, and I'm weakened again. So the weakened should have been removed, but then it's re-added back on. Right. We are now into the fatigue rounds. So everything is going to take a damage. Uh-oh. I'm down to two health. Help! <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So... Uh, I need I need to roll as many defense as possible. So I'm rolling two defense plus my buckler, and I'm rolling one attack. Um, and I'm going to roll it on the Griffin Yearling. Yeah, here we go. Oh, and heal. Yeah, I think I do need to heal. We'll finish off the Ogot herbs. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I've dealt two damage, so the Griffin Yearling is dead, which is good. And I got three ones. I wanted some bones. Or did I want some bones? Actually, I probably didn't want any bones at this point. So that's the Griffin Yearling dead. So that's gone, that's gone. That's me done. Right, the yellow one. This attacks me for one. One damage, that. Um, the dragon whelp attacks me. One damage and a bones, that goes, and I'm weakened again. And that's the end of the round. Next round, fatigue damage. The dragon whelp dies. Okay, I'm down to two health. But it's my go first, and at this point, I am actually now going to attack it. Mm -hmm. So, to attack. 
Um, I'll keep that there. I'll roll one defense and one defense for my buckler. Here we go. Side view for health. There you go. Yes, look at that. <laughs> Four damage on the clay golem. It doesn't matter that my weapon is broke. It's gone. Yeah, I was. That was. What a battle. Oh, yeah. What a battle that was. Yeah, your character is very interesting, the way that it works. Mm. Mm. Whew. Right, okay. So let's tidy stuff up. Um, the bones disappear. That defense disappears. Uh, oh, your yeah, primary you canister have... will go back there. What's your, what's your backup plans? Um, throw oh, odds, which roll. didn't do anything. Search again, yeah. which allows me to re-roll one of these dice. Yeah, which you didn't roll anyway. Which, so, uh, oh yeah. no, is it, is it re-roll one of them? Ah, it's... yeah, re-roll any unused scavenger die. Oh, rolled this turn. Yeah, so I have to have rolled yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, I think we're going to take a five minute break while, uh, while we go for a lie down, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, th that would definitely be a let's just pause the game and go and stand outside and have a breather for a bit, I think. But the good news is check out all of these training points. So we're going to get one training point for that, two, we get three training points and loot and yeah. two progress. So I'll do the two progress now. Which means we actually have enough progress now to take on Mulmesh if we want to. Mm -hmm. I'll do uh, my loot first. I've drawn fresh bog meat. Okay, interesting. So you heal for five, but then you will gradually take more damage. Uh, yeah. Which is great for me because I've got the Sonic Cleanse. So I can eat the fresh bog meat, restore, to, restore five, mm -hmm. and then be immune from the poison. And you've drawn yeah. reflex powder. Which is a yeah. meh. Yeah. Might as well keep that right. whole Three training it. points. So I mean I could take canisters. <laughs> I I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Three training points. So I'm going to have Sonic Cleanse for one. Let's just put these back. Uh, I'm going to have Big Boom for two. Okay. And for the third one, I, oh, I could do with some more health. In fact, hang on a minute, do I want these considering I haven't got any grenades? No, I'm not going to take the big boom for now. I'll take the Sonic Cleanse. But I'm going to take an extra health. And I'm going to take an extra dexterity. There you go, there's my three training points. Oh, body search instead of cleanse. Yes, I'd forgotten about body search. Thank you. I'll have body search. Yeah, body search allows me once somebody's dead to basically roll this and find stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How many chips were on the last battle? There's scheme? five. Is that the correct number? <laughs> correct number for what? Well, we should have been taking one off. Each. I have been. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I healed. So, uh, I I gave. I got an extra health, which means I, I get an extra health. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I'm definitely taking the secondary canister. Okay. So secondary canister goes there, and will that start at five? Yes. Yeah. So they'll both go up at five. Yeah. So it gives me ten points of. Okay. Stop. Uh, I'm thinking I take blast. Yeah, that's two. And then I'm debating between an attack die or a dexterity. Mm. I 
think a dexterity is probably more okay. useful to me. The dex than goes up die. automatically. Right. Yeah. That's the training point spent. We got the loot. End of the day, I'm going to heal. I guess you're going to heal as well. Well, what? how much damage did you take? I took three. I was down by three. Right, because you could take the stew off me and just eat the stew. Yeah, but the other option is just scouting, isn't there? It is, yeah. Yeah. It depends. Are we going to try and take on Mulmesh now? Or are we going to wait a bit? Um, I, th I think wait a bit. We're only on day four. We've got plenty of yeah. time. Yeah, I think we can do at least one more yeah. day. But no, I'm I'm happy healing. Okay. We'll save this, Joe. So Yeah. I'll heal as well. You're gonna heal as well, um, right. Do uh, you want the powder? I can't carry it. Well you can swap the bog meat. Because although the bog meat is useful to you, I think the powder's better because it allows you to re roll dice. Re roll any one die on your turn. Hmm. Yeah. No, I, so I think you... the bog meat. I mean, okay. we could give the bog meat to you if you had loads of health, because you wouldn't suffer the negative effects of the poison. Well, I can't use it anyway. Oh, you can't use it because you can't use items. Yes. Yeah. So, no, I think I'm okay with that. Right. So, day five. And the card is a green one. Okay, it's our ducks in a row. The barons attract all types of reclusives, wackos, outlaws, and illegal entrepreneurs. Coming across a rickety homestead, it's anyone's guess what we'll find. And if an opportunity should arise to gain an advantage in the coming battles, well, who's to say what passes as a noble or useful side quest? With said shack just ahead, it looks like we'll have a chance to find out what such an opportunity holds. From the distance, it seems like a harmless farm of sorts, but we gearlocks know to never trust first impressions, especially this far north. Okay, so we have uh, we have our, our only option. We have to help a farmer by killing the rats. Not a very epic task, but no story is complete without a quest to clear out rats in a basement. So, the number of rats you must face is your party size plus one, so three. Roll a d6 for each rat to decide its hit points. Place hit point stacks on the battle mat in melee positions one to four then ranged. The rats do not move, attack, or take a turn. Place gear locks in their starting positions. Party now has one round to deal as much damage to as many rats as it can. Treat this as a normal battle. If your party defeats at least all but one rat, you succeed. Okay, so we've got three rats. We're rolling three dice. So the first one has got five health. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay. Second one has got four health. And the third one has got three health. Okay. Um, we've got one round to deal as much damage as we can. And we have okay. to defeat at least all but one rat. Right. Okay. Interesting. And I've got no grenades, but I'm ranged. So it doesn't really matter where I go. <laughs> Put me right in front of you. Yeah, we should have rolled initiative first, but to see which of us goes first. That is true. I'm on a two, you're on a four. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, suddenly I've, I've <laughs> tripped over my shoelaces. Well, which one are you going to hit? Uh, I'm going to hit the one in the middle. But that's got the most health. We just need to kill the other two. Yes, but I'm going to use Blast and the Directive, which has oh, okay. Blast on it. And yeah, hopefully I can damage all three of them. Right. Okay. Well, you'll go first. 
Right, so give me my two defense, yep. not that I need it, and my ten canisters. canisters. <laughs> yeah. So I have to roll the Hydra Valve. I will roll the Directive. I will roll... I might as well do both Blitz and Blast. Yeah. Uh, so I no point rolling got... cut. No. Um, and then I might as well go for... One attack die and two defense die. Or do I just go three defense die? Try and get bones to... Because if I can hit... It's going to be difficult. But if I can hit power spike... Which requires like five. <laughs> but... You want the attack die, don't you? Um. Well, it's... I think it's six and two threes. Okay. An attack die is more likely to do damage, but a defense die is more likely to roll a bone. Mm. And if I can get to power spike, that's three damage to an adjacent unit and then two to units adjacent to it. Yeah. Mark is here from the center aisle. He says, there's no way you're getting power spike. Well, there is a chance. I, th there is a chance, yeah, but I... <laughs> Did the card say the rat should be in the ranged row? Uh, no, so um, it's the melee row first, then the ranged row. So basically, because it's right. party size plus one. So I think what it means is if there was five of them, the yeah. fifth one would go there. Yeah. So yeah, let's just roll those then. Okay, here we go. Right, so your directive die is the must use this reserve, it's the energy arc. That's the energy arc, which is... One. So one damage to an adjacent unit, and then all units adjacent to that unit take that number of damage minus one. Yes. So that's one to this rat. Yeah. Okay. Next. Ooh, you've got some good uh, blasting uh, ones here. Okay. I can't read them on my screen, unfortunately. You have a two on the... I'll, I'll put this on. So you, you've got this. Okay, so that one's a two. Yeah. So, so that one hits the the rat next to me, yep. which is... It's the same effect, so two to that one and one to, one to the those. other two. Yep. Then you've got that result. Oh, blast two. So yeah, that, that kills it and pushes it back. <laughs> Does it kill it and push it back, or...? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it, it, the, the effect is deal the amount of damage to a non-adjacent unit. Non-adjacent oh, no, unit. It doesn't, doesn't push it back. What's the one that pushes it back? So I'm this thinking one? of RAM. Uh, yeah, yeah, might as well kill that one. Yeah, so that's that rad dead. Um, right, and then, you've then got, what do I have left? You've then got this. Okay, so the bones must be used. Yeah, there isn't really. So I do do the one damage. Yeah, it's one damage to that to the to the rat. Yeah. Um, I'll slot the the uh, defense, and then I have to use hot fix, hot fix to put it back up. Which yeah increases the yeah. one to a two, and that's it. Okay, right. And that would have cost me. Doesn't matter. Three points of canister, not that it matters. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so my go, and I just need to kill this one. Yeah. So I've got five decks. I can go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Only just. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because I, I tell you what, I've actually got two bones. Mm -hmm. So I could use one bones and then deal it an extra one damage for that. So yes, we got rid of it. Yeah. There you go. Nice. So we cleared the rats out. Um, if you manage to kill all the rats, the farmer is very pleased uh, and gives you a tattered map. Shuffle special encounter the ebonite doorway into your encounter deck and we get a training point. We don't need to track the progress anymore. 
because uh, we've already got enough progress, but we do get a training point. So I will look for that special encounter. Let me let me know which um, what you want to spend your training point on. Yeah. Do you want to lock any of those components that you rolled? Oh, I'm going to lock the two in. Um, yeah, but I'm going to put the one back. Oh, check the card again. George is saying you didn't kill all of the rats. Oh, sorry. If we if you managed to kill all the rats, yeah, you're right. We didn't. Right. Okay. So we don't get the map. No. Oh. Okay. Thank you. We do get the training point. Right, one training point. Um, yeah, the problem is I don't have these grenades, and I'm going to need these grenades. Yeah. So, I mean, two attack. Is two attack enough? Probably not. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and increase my attack. I need to roll two attack dice because my attack is currently two. I haven't rolled any bones, so my attack goes up to three. Right. Oh, bigger boom boosts a frag and costs no grenade. Yes, but I don't have any grenades to boost the frag. Uh, I don't have any grenades to actually use the frag in the first place. So. Right, your training point, what would you like to spend it on? I'm going to take a health. So your health goes up, and you get another health. Yeah. Okay. And you seem to have lost one of my dice. I have, where have I put it? There it is. Yeah. Cool. Okay, right. So, end of the round. Neither of us need to heal. Do we want to do anything other than scout? Um, I don't. I don't know. I'm. Nope. Yeah, I'll Neither scout. So scouting for me. I've rolled a three. Scouting for you. You've rolled a four. So here we go. the The five point buddy is is this one, and then the one point buddy is the one on the left. So a clay golem with break. And a bog lurk with poison too, which attacks everybody. Uh, and is it ranged? It is ranged. It's ranged and it attacks okay, everybody. So I, I can't even lock it down. And that's yeah. a shame. Um, and it's quite tough. I mean, I've got loads of health now, so that poison doesn't worry me too much. Mm -hmm. It's I effectively three damage. The... Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. It's two damage. And then if it poisons you again, it's another two damage. Yeah. 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 Depends how quickly we can kill it. I think we should get rid of the golem. <laughs> okay. Because, yeah, I, I don't like break at all. It's, right. Okay. It's a pain. What about the other one? Oh, the um, the stew is now on four. <sighs> yes. Stew is on four. Yeah. Oh, Ian's here. Yeah. Hi, Ian. Thank you for joining in in the chat. I... Uh, yeah. I'll leave it up to you because poison doesn't affect me at all. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> um, I, I think we can probably kill it. I think I think we can. I'm going to leave it on top. Yeah, yeah, getting left on top. Right, so next day. Day six. Um, the last battle stew has now ticked down. I think that's right, actually. I think it's ticked. It was five. It's now four. And... Or was it four and it's now three? I think it's now three. Right, we're going to read another card. We have. Mud never killed no one, did it? I'm claustrophobic and you all hate to get dirty. Isn't this a fine mess? Sure, the hill on the road to the northeast is much faster, but look how narrow it is. We're bound to meet opposition and be sandwiched in. I'd much rather muck up my trousers and hit the inevitable mud bath to the west. I mean, look how the open road becomes. Look how open the road becomes. Plus, the lot of you could use a free facial to improve those ruddy complexions of yours. So, what are we doing then? There's a, times are wasting. Okay, we have a choice. 
we can either single file it is, who's our line leader, we have a fight where the battle queue is going to be made up of 12 body points. Oh, the chat's going weird again. Um, yeah. Battle is restricted to lane one for both sides. Units entering the battle map will always take the melee position. Then, right, okay. Or let's exfoliate. <laughs> uh, if we do that, we get an extra training point. Mm. But each gear lock has minus one dex in battle. And furthermore, where before you move, you must roll the d6. And on a one to three, you're stuck and cannot move this round. Hmm. Well, we don't need the extra progress point. We so don't. We Sorry. might as well do the second one. We'll do the second one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So the battle queue is made up of uh, six times two, 12. So that's two fives and two ones. And each of us has minus one dex. And before we move, we have to roll the dice to see whether we can move or not. Okay. So the first buddy is the bog lurker. Position number one, ranged, six health. Second one is, it's a kobold fanatic, uh, which is number two, melee, six health. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, number three is a bog pole, which looks like an alien. <laughs> Definitely looks like an alien. Um, that's got three health. That's melee. No, that's ranged. And that's in position number three. And then number four is a dragon hatchling with an ability called engulf. You want to meet? And that is also ranged. Lots of ranged baddies on this one. Yeah. Uh, Mark is suggesting we put weaken on each of us as a reminder that we are yeah. one less dead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there yeah okay so let's roll uh let's put those on so the yellow one is sorry number one is the blue one that's on initiative four uh the second one is the purple one that's on initiative three third one is the yellow one that's on initiative three and the fourth one is initiative six okay our initiatives i'm on two again ouch and you're on four so, where do we want to start? Oh, let's go in first. Oh, that's a good point about the bog meat, yes. Because if that poison is going to be on me anyway, eating the bog meat is going to have zero impact on me. Yeah. So, engulf is... All damage rolled by this unit also hits all adjacent units. Okay. As well as, as, and that's going first. So, mm -hmm. does it hit the the weakest? Uh, it hits the weakest. Yeah, that's going to so attack you. Me. Yeah. I don't want to be next to you. So, if I go in front of the thing that's melee. Yeah. What does that have? Break. And, hardy. And inspire. Oh, hardy. And inspire. Okay. Yeah. Hardy means it can only ever take one point of damage per turn. And it's got six health. Yeah. Um, Ouch. We need to put bleed on it because then it takes damage on its turn. Yes. And on our turns when we hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Where do you want to go then? <laughs> uh, me. Oh, yes, the chat is pointing out, because of the quirk in the rules, the poison one yes. is going to overwrite the poison two. It is, yeah. And I have spoken to Shannon, and I have double-checked to that, and they said, yes, that is the official rule. Poison one will overwrite poison two. Yeah. Even if they didn't really want it. Like, and I said, well, why didn't you just change it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, change it. You can change it. It's your company. You can do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which means you're going to get hit by the poison two, then by the poison. So one. this has so. got two people on it. This has got three. What's the difference between the targeting icons for two and three? Um, Is the one? Hmm. I'm gonna have to find that in the rulebook. 
Yeah, I'm looking. I've got... No, it's not there. It's got to be there somewhere. Uh, three is one more than two. Thank you very much, David. I was, I was, I was, I'm all, I've never been good at maths. <laughs> Does it mean it will attack three things? Not yeah, I don't know where the targeting icons are explained. Three just means three targets. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's not in the uh, it's not in the rule book in the section on targeting, which is where I would have. Oh no, it does say some baddies will target multiple units shown by the number of figures, but will not target the same one. Right, it does say there. Okay, right. so it just for our purposes, two and three are the same. Yeah. Um. So yeah, where do I want to go? It doesn't really matter because I'm ranged and they're ranged. I just don't want to yeah. be next to you. So I'll go there. Right. It's the green one first then. Yes. It's attacking you. It's rolling one dice. Don't you want to give me my... Oh, I'll give you your stuff. Difference. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. You've now, you've now got your, your starting stuff. Uh, that bone should have gone from last time. So, hit you for two. That's your defense gone. Right. Uh, and it also hits. Oh, it uh, does. Adjacent. Oh, unit. perfect. Yes. Perfect. Right. You'll go. So you have to roll that. Yeah. Uh, yes, have to roll that. I will roll the aggro. Oh, you need to roll. I... Um, before you move, you must roll a d6. On a 1 to 3, you are stuck and cannot move this round. Right. I'm not going to move. No. But the aggro might force you to move. Yes. But you don't want to move. No. Well, yeah. If aggro comes up as move, then... So if you roll the aggro and it, it allows you to move and then you can move, are you going to be able to do anything? Because if your aggro moves you to here, you can't... It depends what I take. If I use Blast as well, that covers both uh -huh. um, things. George is saying you can move after the attack. You can bleed, attack, and then move. So... so because in the past, what we've always done so far is we've always used our decks to move and then rolled all of our dice. But if George is saying you can actually... I thought you had to declare how much decks you were spending and how you were spending it before you roll the dice. Yes, if you're, if you're using decks to move, you do it before you roll. Right. But yeah, George is talking about the directive die. Oh, so okay. if it comes up on the move, I can, yeah, I can do the, the attacks first. Right. Okay. So the aggro dice, if you roll it, you must use it, but you can use it whenever you want. Yeah. I thought you said earlier you have to use it before your other dice. Uh, yeah, I'm just rereading it now. Okay, but maybe yeah, not. George is, yeah, no, you can do them Okay, gotcha. at any point, but you have to do, yeah, if I was rolling more than one, yeah. I'd have to do them all together. Right. But they can be done after right. doing okay. attacks. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Cool. Uh, so yes, that's I'm free. Those, those that's cost decks. Free. Those cost you have decks. five decks. Uh, I have six decks. Oh yeah, no, five minus because one. of the yeah minus one. Um, so I'll roll blast as well, and then two defense. Okay, yeah. we're all good. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Go on. So you've got the defense, you've got the cut, you've got the green bones, you've got a blast, and you've got another blast. Okay. So.
Right, resolve the... Put the... Slot the two defence. Yeah, and then the green and bones then, is the hot yeah, fix, which increases that, that to yeah. that. So that's that bit done. Yeah. You've got three defence right. now. Okay, put... Cut onto the, the hardy thing, a bleed die on it, yeah. So that uses one of my canister. Yep, canister you down to four. And then I will use the blast against the poison two creature, because that doesn't have to be adjacent. Mm -hmm. So this blast gets used against that one. Okay, which costs you which, two canisters? Yep. Okay. And then the directive. Uh, I might as well do it against the same one. Yeah. Now, does the directive yeah. use any canisters? No. No. Right. Okay, cool. So I think that's it. You've got yeah. three defense. You're down to seven canisters. That's all done. Right. The blue one is this one. So it basically attacks both of us and puts poison two on both of us. Well, not you. Puts poison two on me. Right. Then the purple one attacks. So this one is attacking you. It bleeds for one. And then it attacks you for three. Uh, one, two. Three damage, which is all of your shields gone. Yeah. It's also got Inspire 1, but I don't think that actually matters. Because the next one to go would be that one anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and that no, one puts Poison 1 on both of us, which goes on me. Ah, oh, no. Uh, the next baddie on the Inimeter takes their turn immediately after this unit and is granted an additional attack die oh so it gets an attack die right so inspire yeah. is useful yeah so, uh attack on is it is it one attack die that is applied to both of us or is it separate if something has multiple uh, targets well i'll roll one for me to start with yeah <laughs> and that's one yeah and the chat can let me know if that one applies to both of us or if it's separate. It's separate. Okay. One to you. Okay. Right. Me. I take one damage from the poison. And then the poison goes. Right. So. Uh, choices, choices, choices. I kind of want to kill the thing that's doing poison too. Yeah. But there is also that kobold fanatic. Which is also a big pain. So I've got four decks. I could roll three attack. What are, what's, what's the health on everything? Uh, the health on everything is three health on the bog pole. Four health on the bog lurk. Four health on yeah. the Cobalt Fanatic and three health on the Dragon Hatchling. Right. Yeah. Uh, Flash is asking, wouldn't the extra die be given to the unit that was inspired? Oh yeah, that was the, the thing that we did. Yeah. yeah. So I'm Yikes. not sure... Well, the the poison two is kind of irrelevant because it's getting cancelled by the poison by the poison one. one. Yeah, you're right. And, yeah, until that one dies. Yeah, the one in front of me, it's going to bleed, and I'm going to hit it pretty hard next time. I'm going to use. Well, you're only ever going to be able to do one damage to it in a turn. That's true. But I think I need yeah. to hit it. I I yeah. just. I won't use yeah. three attack dice. Yeah, we we all need to hit it. Yeah, basically. I'll attack it for two. I'm going to put one defense on. And I'm going to search for some bits. Because I, I need to find... I need to find stuff to make some grenades. Yeah. So we're targeting the Cobalt Fanatic. 
Okay. Ah, now that's almost perfect. Two bones. And I get a two defense, and I've dealt it the one damage that we need. Cool. Yeah. Um, Did you roll your buckler? I Die. didn't roll my buckler. Bones. Right, so that is the bluff bomb, which is... Select any occupied position. That unit is immediately moved to an adjacent position of the... Uh, yeah, that's no use. Um, the problem is, if I keep this dice as bones, then that dice then used. And I don't want to do yeah. that. I need to keep no. that there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the engulf is dealing it damage as well. Yeah, thank you, George. I put the component back. I realise that, because if I'd have kept it, I then actually can't reuse it. So that is me done. Round two. Uh, the dragon hatchling is attacking you. Yep. For one dice. Yep. One damage. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I've got no defence on you. <laughs> yeah. And is that also one damage to adjacent ones? Yes, one damage to adjacent units. Right, one damage to that. Okay, now it's you. Defence. Uh, yes, defence. Um, I might as well roll, as well roll the directive because that's free. Um, I'll roll blast. And free defense. Or may I don't know. One attack, two defense. Yeah, because we need to deal the damage to the cobalt, don't we? Yeah. Okay, right, here we go. Yeah. Nice. So the cobalt takes the damage from your attack, die. Uh, you got a bones from that. Uh, is that a, that's a bones I have to yeah. use. Yeah, unfortunately you did uh, get a two on that. Yeah. Okay, so so yeah, do the do the one that I have to do first. Yeah, which gets you a one. Which puts a one. And then the other one goes and then in. Slot the other one. Yeah. Okay. And, and again, I can't see what those are. Uh, you've got a two blast and a one. Um. Whatever the other one was called. Energy arc. Uh, okay, that's not going to do so. very much. It'll do damage to an adjacent unit. Yeah. And so uh, I've already done the damage to the hardy thing, haven't I? You don't need that. So, yeah, don't need that. And so the blast yeah, two the, is going to be good. Yeah, blast two against... Um, what are the healths on and everything? So the poison two. Hmm. Two damage to that. One to yeah. that. And that cost and you I'll, a canister? Yep, yeah, that cost me a canister. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I'll heal one with my power converter. Power converter goes down to by one. You heal back up to three. Okay, interesting turn. Cool. It's now the bug lurk that puts poison two on me. As you say, it's not doing anything really. No. Um, then it is the cobalt fanatic that dies from the bleed. Nice, Got that gone. Oh, I should have put the damage on the other thing. I didn't realise that was the... going to die. The bog pole, which does poison one. Because that didn't inspire. Because it's dead. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's me. So I take one damage from the poison. Okay, right. Well, I need to roll those two. Um, I 
Do I eat the fresh bog meat? No, I don't think I do just yet. Um, so I've got four, four decks. That's one, two. Yeah, I'm not really that bothered about these. I've got that, that's free. But yeah, I mean, we've got to kill them at some point. Oh, I can use my body search now because something is dead. So use my body search. That's one, two, three. Uh, my free buckler, and I'll, I'll just roll one attack. So I'm going to target the... It doesn't really matter, does it? I'll target the bog lurk. Um, or should we target the dragon hatchling? No, because that's not going to deal damage to you now, is it? No. Well, it will. I mean, yeah, it, but you've got so much defense. Yeah. Yeah, it's only going to knock the defense off. Um, yeah, I'll do. I'll do one attack on that. Right. So I'm rolling all of yeah. these. Okay. So interesting. So I, I'm going to lock that in, but I'm going to put this back. This body search. I don't want that. Uh, I am going to keep that, but I'm going to put that back, and then I've done one damage. <laughs> I have search again, so I could do that to re-roll this. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use those two bones to re-roll this one, and it's a two. Which means I can tick all of those down and I've got two grenades. Right. Done. Happy with that. Round three. This is an interesting fight as well. Just from the weird... Um, the enemies that we've got and your special ability. So, uh, this is attacking you. One dice. One damage. That's one of your shields gone. Your go. Okay, so I've got to roll the valve. Uh, I'm going to move. So you you roll well to see if you can move. Fast. Yeah, you are stuck. You cannot move. Okay, I'm not going to move. <laughs> right, in that case, um, uh, Giblox is asking the character. So Boomer is from the base game. Uh, Gasket is from an add-on. So a single character add-on, Gasket is from. Uh, yeah, I might as well roll the directive because yeah. I could get Blast with that. And I mm -hmm. might as well roll Blast because yeah. that is non-adjacent. Yeah. And then, so that's only still got three... Three decks left. Uh, you got five in total. Yeah, you got three left unused. Yeah. So, I might as well go for defense. Three defense. Okay. Because I'm not going anywhere, so I might as well yeah. roll for bones. Yeah. Okay. So, you've got bones on that die. You've got the, um, the tick down on that one, and you've got blast one. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, let's use the blast on, um, what's the health on everything? <laughs> this has got one left. Right, yeah, let's kill that. That gone. Uh, so the bones was on the blast die, the purple one. It was, yes. So put that back. Yeah. Um... Slot two of the defense dice. I might as well keep them. Mm -hmm. um, That's been used, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
and then your canister ticks down by one because you didn't use a skill. Yes. Yep. Okay. And then I'll I'll use the hot fix. Yeah. In backup plan to increase one of those. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, blue one is gone. Yellow one is next. So it's poison one on both of us. And then it's my go. I take a damage from the poison. Down to two health. Um, right, I've got my grenades, but I'm not going to use my grenades this time. Uh, I'm just going to attack. So two attack. We're going to target the bog pole. Um, in fact, the dragon hatchling is probably going to go for me next because it goes for the weakest. Yeah. And I am now the weakest. But no, I'm going to do two attack, three attack from the buckler, and one extra defense. That's three. And I'll do the body search. That's four. There you go. Right. Well, Mr. Little Alien Creature. Yes. And loads of defense. So, Bog Pole is dead. And I've got this, which is basically one random component should I want it. No, I'm going to put that back. Okay, done. Round four. Green one first, attacks me. Dealing me one damage. That comes off my defense. Your go. Okay. Uh, might as well try to move. Yeah. You can move. Hey. So two decks to move. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, leaving you with three decks left. Yeah, so one is the Hydra Valve. Uh, I might as well roll the directive because that's free. And then I'll do uh, Blitz and Blast. Yep. Because he doesn't doesn't have very much health left, does he? Uh, three. Oh, actually, actually, Blast is no good because that's non-adjacent. No, so but blast if your good. aggro dice comes out that you have to move, then the Blast might be useful. <laughs> Yep, yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, I could do it in an order where that actually happens. Yeah. Uh, so that's, I think that's it. Because I use two to move, three for those dice. That one's free. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Right. So no forced movement. Okay. I can't but you do have three damage on so... the um, the energy arcs. All right. So that's it. We've won. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. that dies. That goes over there. That is done. We come home. And right. Let's have a look again at the. So which one did we go for? It was this bottom one, wasn't it? So yeah, so we have a training point plus another training point plus a loot. Right, cool. so I'll draw my loot, which I probably can't have because I'm full. On your turn, you must you may unexhaust any one die. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, you might want to keep that instead of the... Instead of the fresh bog meat? Yeah. Well, the, fre the fresh bog meat is basically I'm about to die and I suddenly come back. It is, yeah. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> mm. So Mark is saying in the chat, uh, as long as the directive doesn't have blast, because then it has to hit Boomer. Oh. Oh yes, because it's a, it's a must. It's a must. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. So this reinforced yeah. buckler is actually good, but David is saying utility parts is good. It it is. Um, how much defense do you have? Two. Right. The reinforced buckler is nice, but it's confusing me. Yeah, and you keep forgetting to roll it. And I keep forgetting to roll it. So yeah. I, I think I'm gonna drop the reinforced buckler. Or at least give it to you. Can we do that now? 
Uh, yeah, I was just thinking, what's the order we do things in? Yeah. Anyway, um, your your loot, not that it matters, is a sparring weapon. Okay. David, you're telling me oh. to get rid of the bog meat. No, I want to keep the bog meat. Oh, is that heavy? So I can't hold that. It is heavy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I won't keep that. So we're going to get rid of the heavy items. There we go. Right. Okay, yeah, utility parts is two frag grenades in one, but of course, yes. Yeah, I think that's what we might be doing. Right, okay, so these are going to go back. Uh, where's your canisters? Five. Yeah, you, you divide spoils and apply training points before you do the right. recovery phase. Okay. So yeah, we can't trade things. Makes okay. sense. Let's get rid of the weaken. Right. So we've get we get two training points, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a bigger boom, which makes my frag grenades better. Mm -hmm. Um and what else do I want to take? I was tempted to take the sonic cleanse, but actually the frag grenade, now that I've got two. I'm probably just going to do two frag grenades. Do I go for an extra dex or an extra attack? Hmm. Or an extra health. Yeah, I was going to go down the Sonic Cleanse route, but I just don't seem to be getting enough grenades. I mean, this max is out at three, so you can only use three grenades. No, you can find more, more stuff in battle. Yeah, that's the thing. I can go into battle and use two grenades, and then I could find some extra bits and use another one. But I was really planning to get the Sonic Cleanse, is what I was, what I was thinking of doing. Yeah. Yes, I know. The chat is all telling me that I should not have thrown away the buckler for the bog meat. But, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Uh, I don't know what to do with my second training point. I'm just going to go health. Right. What are you going to do with your two training points? I'm going to try for an attack first. Okay, so we roll to see if your attack increases. And it does. Okay. Your attack is now two. Yeah. And I'll take the sustain directive die. Okay. Oh, that's mine. Number 11. Yep. Okay. Right. Done? Uh, yes, that's... Just, uh, End of the day, that. I am healing. It's me back to full health. What would you like to do at the end of the day? Did I take damage? You're, um, you've taken your one down. You okay. can eat the some um, stew. Oh no, you can't. No, but I, I, I have a power converter, which I could start to the next battle. My first turn, I can heal one, and then I can use yeah one of the loot to just put that back up to max. So yeah, yeah. I won't heal. Yeah. Oh, can I uh, take the reflex powder off you? Yes, do that. Now that I've got rid of my heavy item. And when can you burn the loot? So it's in during my turn. Okay. In battle. Yeah. So, oh, John's here as well. I think. I think. Yeah. Every everybody's now joining the chat to criticise me for. <laughs> I know. I know it's a really bad mistake. I know that, and we might lose the game because of it. And then you can all, you can all have a good laugh. But it's less for me to remember. Right, end of the day, start of the next day. 
Stu ticks down. Day seven. Are we going to try and take on Mulmesh? Uh, what was the number of days we needed to do it in? Nine. Nine. So we, we've got this and two more. Yeah. Um, Because I've got my two grenades now, the next fight might be a tough one where I might need to use some of yeah. those grenades. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I've not got many things that I want to do with training points at this point. Okay. Um, there's like one more canister I could get, but... Right. I say I say we go for it. Yeah, we're going to go for it. So we are going to we're going to challenge Mulmesh. Uh, once human, now worgen. Mulmesh has an insatiable hunger for that which he once was. Knowing there is no going back, he lets that hunger fuel his fury towards any non-Eben Delorean uh, who stands in his way of exacting vengeance. Right. Okay. So the BQ is uh, body points, which is fourteen. All buddies on this card are placed on top of BQ. Okay, we don't have any. Add Mulmesh to the bottom of BQ. So Mulmesh's tyrant skills, uh, we, we can read that when he comes out. Yeah. So it's 14. So it's two fives, four ones. We have run out of ones, which means I need to go through all of the dead ones. Shuffle them. And let's get them back in. All right. One, one, one. Right. Okay, so the emails are starting to flood in. Apparently, I've lost seven Patreon su uh, supporters in the last 10 minutes. I don't, I don't know why that is. Uh, I can't think of anything I might have done. <laughs> Apparently, my membership has been revoked from the Too Many Bones fan club. Oh, no. <laughs> and Shannon has just unfriended me. Oh, dear. Right. Well, you know. <laughs> it's one of those days. So, two fives, four ones, mull mesh on the bottom. Off we go. Right. So, the first one is Manticore. Poison two, rage two, attacks two people. Six health. Ranged character, three initiative. Okay, number two is a dragon delinquent, which has got engulf and weaken two if it rolls bones. Seven health. Initiative six. Ranged. Third one, a one point buddy, which is a kobold green thumb, which is hardy. Uh, melee lane three. And then the fourth one is a clay golem, everybody's favourite breaking, which is melee, which is initiative two. That's initiative four. Right, our initiatives. Oh, I've rolled a two again. <laughs> You've rolled a four. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's going first. That's the one with engulf. So I probably... The one with engulf, is that going against the weakest? The one with engulf is... Yes. Okay. Yeah, which will be you to start with. Yeah, so I probably need to be in front of something. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe the one with Hardy? Yeah. And I'll just go... I think over in the far corner. Um, oh, no. no. One in, because that's going to move two. Yeah, that's yeah. better. <laughs> yeah, I'll go there. Right. Yep. Yes, my initiative die has got a two, a three, 
two fours, a five, and a six. So yeah, that's terrible. The last three rolls have been two. Um, okay, we're good to go. Round one. It is the dragon delinquent going for you, attacking with two attack, two defense. Yeah. And golf. Got my two defense. You've got your two defense, action. and you've got your two canisters. Cool. Okay. Right. Here we go. Uh, reflex powder on the initiative dice. Can I do that? Oh yes, it says including initiative. Yeah. Is it worth it to go before these two? It might be actually. It might be, yeah. In fact, I think I've got that the wrong way around as well. I do. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm going to use the reflex powder. Thank you for the suggestion. Let's see what we get. We've got a four. Nice. So I could go before or after you. I don't mind, and I'll I don't go after think you. It really matters. Yeah, I'll go after you. Yeah, probably after me is slightly better. Okay, so the dragon delinquent is attacking you. It didn't roll the bones, so it's not weakened. It's done three damage, which takes off two of your shields, deals one damage to you, and one damage to the other one because it's hardy. Okay. Done. Your go. Yeah, it's a shame that he, uh, that's got hardy, because otherwise that would have died. I will. I'll use the power converter to heal. So that and goes down I'll, to zero. You I'll get a health back, and then you absorb the stew and put your power converter back to three. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, if we want to put. Bleed on the hardy thing, so I'll use cut. Mm -hmm. So you have to use that. You're using cut. Yeah, I will roll the two directives. Which are free? Yep. Now, if I could get All a. Left. Yeah, if I could get a blast as well, I can. Yeah. Hopefully hit something at range. Um, probably no point doing an attack die, or is there? Yeah, no, just do one attack die, mm -hmm. and then two defense. Okay. Yep. So we're rolling yep. eight dice. All good. Here we go. I may have just knocked this die. Did you see what they were? No. All <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Oh, well, there's lots of bones. And that. Did you just rewind that a little bit? Okay, Watching the live feedback. Okay, so, they so I rolled the dice, right. and it was there. Looks like to me, it was two ones. Yeah, I think I accidentally right. knocked one of the dice when I picked up the dice tray. I thought I did. Yeah, cool. So that one gives me. Right. Okay. A... Oh, yeah. And James has just said it was a one. So. Okay. Well, that's useless. <laughs> that's... <laughs> uh, right. So that's three. So that's basically dehumidifier gains one hydro and also increases defense die by one. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. 
Okay, slot the two defense. Yep, so they're getting slotted in. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll use the the green bone as a hot fix to increase one of those two. Yeah, to two. that goes up to a two. Okay. And I'm not going to slot the other two bones. Nope, so they go back. Yeah. The the thing with the, the water drop and the one on, yeah. it gives me one hydro back, so that's useless. Useless, because you haven't used any. any. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the other one is, that's the one. That's the uh, one last, damage. Yeah, so might as well do the one damage to yeah. the thing next to me, and that's it. Okay, right. That's your go done. So my go. Yeah. Now then. I've got this frag grenade and I've got this bigger boom. But this has got three defense on it. And the frag grenade. Deal hash damage to the unit on its position and half damage to all on the adjacent position. So... It's not really in a good position at the moment for the frag grenade. We need to move things around. Now, could I think we can choose where this moves? So I think this could move to here. Is that still getting close to us? It's targeting me because I'm the strongest. Yeah. It moved two. There is, is one away from me, and there is one away from me. If we can choose where it moves, yeah, we can. Then I would put it there, and then I can use the grenade next turn. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I'm going to keep the grenade. So, this turn, I'm just going to have three attack and two defense. Think. Okay, Mark has confirmed we can do that. So yeah, three attack, two defense, and I'm going to go for the. Now the problem with the Manticore is it's got rage too. So if we damage it, um, it's going to get yes. stronger. Yes. But if I attack the clay golem with these attack dice, then I lose the attack dice. Yeah. The other option is that we attack the dragon delinquent. That might be the one to go for. But it does have three defence. Yeah. But yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so yeah, going to go for the dragon delinquent. Right, here we go. Okay, so I've rolled three damage, which has got rid of those. Uh, I've got two shields. I've got one bones, which I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep that bones. Right. I could have re-rolled anything, but no, I think I'm good. I think we're all good for now. Right, okay, so that's me done. Yellow one is this one. It is going for the strongest, which is me. So, oh no, it, that's a tiebreaker, well, isn't it? So it, it goes for you. Yeah, and because it's it's melee and it's next to me, it just yep. attacks me. Yeah. Two. So that's your two shields gone. That's that one done. The blue one, this one attacks both of us for poison two, so that has no effect on you. It puts poison two on me. Uh, then the green one moves one, two to there. Okay, and that is the end of the round. Round two. Purple one first, it's attacking you, and it's rolling two attack and two defense. Is there any reason not to keep the bone on the on the attack dice? No, I don't think there is. But you would always want to keep a bones on an attack dice. Yeah. Okay, right, so it's only got one defense, which is the good news. Mm -hmm. It's only done one attack, which is the good news. Mm -hmm. The downside is it's rolled two bones, so that's weakened two. Which doesn't affect me. Oh, which is even better news. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. 
Almost a perfect result. Yeah. Uh, Your go. That has, is that the thing that has engulf? This is the, oh yes. So it also hits the thing next to me. It does, which dies. Excellent. Nice. One down. Okay. Right, so if I go, I suppose it doesn't really matter where I move. I'll move one to the right. Okay. Okay, right, so I've got five decks left. I've got to five roll the left. Hydra Valve. I will roll Cut. I'll roll Blitz and I'll roll Blast. So that's four of the five. Uh, actually, is that too much of a risk? That might be too much of a risk. Because... How much health has everything got left? Are we going to kill everything? Lots. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I probably need some defense. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So in that case... Well, things are not attacking for much. The Manticore is just poison too, which has no effect on you. The Clay Golem is yeah. one attack. Yeah. So they're not attacking for very much. True. Okay, give me one defence, then. Yeah, it's whether you want two defence. Yeah. Actually, no, make it two defence and I'll put back the... Blitz. And I will roll the two directives. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, so that's a two on that, that's a one on that, that's a cut, that's a... Well, I'll lock your defence in, that's the easy one. Yeah, yeah, do that. And that's a one move on that, okay. So I need to think about when I do that, that isn't going to matter. Because I'm going to use... So let's put bleed on the thing in front of me using, using the, the cut. cut. So that's one off the canister. Yeah. Uh, that means the hydro valve can go back because that's not going to that one. Yeah. leak. And then, so that's a move. And then, so I need to do that one first. So let's do the the blast against the um, the big thing, thing with lots of health. The dragon. Yeah. So that's one off the shield and then one damage. Yeah. And yep. two off my canister because that's my second yep. skill. Right. And then the directives. I'll do the um, whatever it's called. Energy, Energy arc. arc first. Yeah. And then the movement. So that's and I'll move to the right. The energy arc takes one off, and yep. then you move to the right. Okay. So because you used two of your skill dice, that ticks down three canisters. Yes. Hey, okay, nice. I like that character. Interesting. Mm. Right. I think that is it. I think that is the situation there. And my go... I am definitely going to be using the grenade. So that ticks down the boom counter by one. I am going to be rolling the bigger boom with it. Because I think that just basically makes it bigger. <laughs> um, yeah, increases the damage of your frag and big boom grenades, right? So that's two. I've got five. 
Um, and that's that that grenade is being thrown at something other than my target. Um, and my target is actually the big dragon. Yeah, does the frag grenade do half damage? Yeah, it's half damage. So yeah, so my, my target is the dragon, because it's got no defense at the moment, mm -hmm. with three attack, and then I'm using my other two decks on that. Yeah. And I can body search, yes, but right now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for this. You need to take And I might need to re-roll with the reflex and powder. To, and you need to take poison damage. I need to take poison damage, thank you. Two poison damage. Poison ticks down by one. Okay. Come on. We roll that one again because it fell out. Okay, right. Now that's terrible. Because <laughs> that is a red bones. Which is basically, I have to use it as bones. So I am going to use the reflex powder to re-roll this. Right, so three, could be worse, plus one. So they are exhausted, but I have done four damage to the manticore and two damage to everything next to it. Nice. Okay. That's that done. And then my target was the dragon, which takes two damage. And there is a bone there, which can go in there. Right. And then I'm going to use the utility parts to unexhaust the frag grenade. Done. Right. Yellow one is gone. I didn't take that out. Blue one is... Ah. Now, problem is, it's damaged and it's angry. Yeah. So it's got two, so it's got two attack and poison two on both of us. Right, so on you, uh, one damage which comes off your shield, and one bones which does nothing, and on me, uh, one damage which comes off my shield and one bones. Nice. And then the green one is going for the strongest, which is me, so it bleeds. Oh, it's so close to being dead. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mark is saying use on the part until you're just in case you want to use the smoke screen twice. No, I think I'm I think I'm I think I'm good. I know what you're saying. But no, I think I'm gonna use the frag grenade. So it moves to here and it attacks me for one. Right, that comes off the shield. Done. End of the round, we have a new buddy appear, which is a Griffin Yearling. Comes into play with two health. On melee lane three, and it comes in at the bottom of the initiative order. Right. Round three. We have the dragon going first. It breathes on you. Yep. Two attack, two defense. It's done three damage. Unfortunately, that does get through your shields and deals you a damage. Um, and unfortunately, it's got three shields, but it does kill the clay golem. Yep. Clay golem is dead. Right. That is the dragon done. Your go. Okay. Can I have the side view again? Side view. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, the yearling's not too bad. That's nearly dead. That's nearly dead. So I think just spend one dex moving forwards one. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so not five left, so valve is one. Are you power converting to get health back? I will do, yeah. Might as well do that now. You're still down a health. Yeah, I know. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I can use that as many times as I want, but right. for now I'll just do the one. Um, I'll use Blitz and Blast. Mm -hmm. The two directives. Uh, two more left. Defense? Yeah, let's, let's go two defense. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Right, there we go. Okay. So we'll do this thing. Activate well, yeah, the hotfix. Yeah, lock the, the shields, activate the hotfix. Yeah, so that's that. You've got four shields now. Yeah. Uh, so that's one on. That's a, that's a move. And okay, so that was the same as last time. And that's a one. So. The one damage on the Manticore from the um, from the blast. Blast. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Manticore is almost dead. Yeah, which ticks a thing yep. down. The uh, bones on the purple one. Just put that die back. Put that back. Yep. And then I will do the uh, if you did that energy first. Arc you kill the Manticore. Oh. Yeah, true. Yeah, move first, then energy arc on the Manticore. Yeah, move, energy arc. Nice. That Manticore was bothering me. Yeah, cool. Okay, and you used one skill? You used one canister? Yes, yep. Okay, nice. Right, me. I take two damage from the poison. Poison ticks down to one. I think I might be eating the fresh bog meat next turn. Um, so. Yeah. Maybe the dragon? Or maybe yeah, the griffin? So. Or... Or maybe just search. Yeah, maybe this turn, not attack. Wait for these to come in and then throw the grenade next turn. Yeah, have, mm. have we got like, is it one more one point and then Yeah, mulmesh? one more one point buddy and then Mulmesh. Right. So I think okay. I might wait this turn. Okay. I'm going to spend my five decks to roll body search, that, 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 and that. I'm literally not going to attack. I'm just going to. I'm just going to search everything. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Right. Now. That's interesting because this is buff HP. If I want that, do I want that? Hmm. Oh dear, it's a tricky one, that body search. I might take the buff HP. Yeah, I'm going to take the buff HP. I've got three buff HP, that's that exhausted. I'm going to keep that. Um, and I might as well keep that as well. But I'm going to put that back. Because I only need one more, because I'll only have one more grenade after this. Yeah. Okay. That's that done. Uh, blue one is off the board. Green one is off the board. And the yellow one is this one, and it's attacking uh, you. And it's attacking for two, and then it flies. Dealt three damage. Ouch. <coughs> Three damage and then it flies. Okay, end of the round. So, a one point buddy comes in. It is another clay golem. On lane 
one melee. Now, what happens if lane one melee is is full? This hasn't happened to me before. If I remember rightly, it then goes to lane two melee. Okay. That will tell us if we're wrong. And then Mulmesh. Mulmesh arrives, got eight health. Eight. And because Mulmesh is an, um, a tyrant, it arrives at the front of the initiative queue yep. instead of the back. Uh, it's got Frenzy 2, Retreat, Shrouded. Uh, can move diagonally. And now it's time to have a look at stats. So it's got Frenzy 2. If two of Mulmesh's attack dice hit with no bones, roll the attack dice again and add total damage of both rolls, okay? Also, retreat. If Mulmesh starts his turn at three hit points or fewer, he's removed from the battle mat and goes to the top of the BQ. Mulmesh's hit points is restored once he rejoins the battle. Ouch. Right, he's also got Shrouded. Mulmesh can only be targeted by adjacent units. Right. Okay, and he's got a special attack die. So, round four. It is Mulmesh first. So who's he going for? He's going for the weakest character. Uh, and he can move diagonally. So it can attack both of us. So who are we going to get it to go for? It's our choice, isn't it? Uh, yeah, which of us has the most shields? We've both got one. <laughs> we both have one shield. Okay. Um... How many dice is he rolling? Uh, he's rolling two. Two and but... his special die. As long as he doesn't roll any bones, we roll again and add on. Yeah. So he could potentially do eight damage. Oh, I've got yeah. buff HP. Yeah, now do buff HP count towards the calculation of which one he goes for? If they do, Ooh. then it's going for you. I don't think it does. I don't think it does, but we should, we should send it towards me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let us know if it counts towards the calculation. Oh, it doesn't count towards the calculation. So we can choose who it goes for, but you're right. I've got three buff HP. So he's going for me. Here we go. Yeah. First attack. He, he, would, he would be between us, wouldn't he? Uh, he can, oh, yeah, because he, although he can he move moves. diagonally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So two attack dice plus the special one. Right. Unfortunately, that's two damage. So we're rolling and going on again. It's four damage. Well, there's, there's the buff HP gone. <laughs> yep. And it rolled Howl. All units friendly to Mulmesh immediately improve one spot on the Inni meter, but cannot go higher than Mulmesh. Okay, so how does that work? This one goes above me. Yeah. And that one goes... Which order do you do these in? This must be in the rules somewhere, but the chat will probably tell us. You can have him go to gear lock range 2 if you wanted. Gear lock range 2? What, here? If we wanted? Oh, oh yes, yeah, because he was targeting you. Did we want him to go there? Um, it does know it matters. give me more movement potentially yeah right initiative meter 16 to 17 um initiative during battle yeah, work? units with their any spots modified during the round will take their new spots only after end of round hmm. i'm going to ask the chat uh, how, how how does this work how does improving on the any meter uh, work. But I, either way, it's the purple one next. It is the dragon delinquent next. It's ranged. It's going for the weakest one, which is either you or me, but I'm about to get poisoned and you've got a defense dice. 
So can we do this on you? Yeah. Also, if we do it on you, it will hit both of these two. Yes. Yeah. So it's attacking for two, and it's not rolling its defense. It's not, it's not rolling its defense dice because it's already got its defense dice on it. So it's two damage on you. That's one off your shield and one on you. Yeah. That is also two on each of these, mm -hmm. which all which I believe kills the the griffin. And does two damage to the clay golem. Okay, so um, yellow goes above boomer, but not blue. Right, yeah. So that. And take does that out, happen immediately? It, it basically goes or... like that. Yeah. Okay. It was the bit where it said it doesn't happen till the end of the round. That seems. That seems a bit odd. Yeah. Right. Okay, so that's not too bad. Not too bad. It's now your go. Yes. Well, I'm going to use my power converter first. Get two health back. Power converter down to zero to get two health back. You're back to full health, which is four. Yeah. Does the golem break the dragon's dice? That is a very good question. Oh, yes, it does. Does it? Um, yeah, Mark was talking about that earlier. Oh, right. Um, apparently it's in the FAQ. So the dragon's attack dice are now gone? Yeah. Right. Wow. So the dragon is useless now? Yeah. <laughs> so we can just forget about that. So maybe we should have had more mesh between us, because <laughs> then we just pile on. Yeah, thematically that doesn't make much sense, to be honest, because he's breathing fire on you. It shouldn't. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that bit doesn't work. I'm surprised they ruled that in the FAQ that way. Because that doesn't fit. Okay, all right. I need to be careful about my canisters. You've got six left. Yeah. Shall we put more mesh in between us then? Oh, no, because we, we wouldn't have known what that was going to do. Yeah. No. Oh, but then he would have taken the damage from. Yeah. So why? Yeah, why wouldn't we have put it there? Yeah, I don't know. We actually. would have done. It, it, we're it going to change that. Well, I looked at the yeah. chat and I listened to the advice, but yeah. actually, we would have put it there. Yeah, that was Mark's fault, I think. Yeah, blame <laughs> Mark. If in doubt, blame Mark. That's what I always do. I've got it written on the wall. Yeah, and all, and also because I've got cut. Um, yeah. It's worth me putting bleed on him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Although we need to time attacking him. Yeah, well, we can just so, do it this round. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so I've got to roll the hydro. You do? I will roll cut. Um, I might as well do blitz. And then... Uh, which one has the more chance of moving? Uh, they're both the same. Yeah, let's do both directives. Actually, no, not the... Just the aggro directive. Just the aggro one? Yeah. Okay. And then... So I've got... Yeah, three good? left. You do. You've so, got three decks left. So give me... If I do two attack, will we take him out? <laughs> um, no, let's do one attack, two defense. One attack, two defense. Okay, I'm giving this a roll. There we go. So I'll slot your defence in. Yeah. Might as well do the, uh, the green bone. Yeah. Get you another one defence. You've got five defence. Yeah. Cool. Right. So stick uh, bleed on more mesh mm -hmm. with the cut. And then 
yeah, I might as well just do all, all the all the damage Three on damage. all mesh. Yeah. And one canister. One, two, three. He's down to three hit points. Oh, actually, I forgot something about cut. Because uh, it hasn't been applicable before, so What's let me that? find it. Uh, so place bleed effect die on adjacent unit. Also place bleed, bleed effect die on the unit directly behind that one. Oh. So it would hit you as well. Yeah, well, it, it hasn't it hasn't come up before. Well, it's always been something by itself. It's, so is that kind of game, is it? Right. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Right on my turn, I'm going to put a frag grenade in your uh, <laughs> in your rear compartment. Uh, no, to be honest, the frag grenade is actually going to well, one from bleed, one from poison. Okay, so I'm down to one health. I'm going to eat the fresh bog meat. You see, you all laughed at me. Now who's laughing? Right. Fresh bog meat, back up to five, but with poison two. Okay. So the frag grenade now is actually going to deal damage to both of us. Yeah. But if I, if I use one dex to stand out the way, it won't. It won't hit me. Yeah. I yeah. think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use one dex to stand out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'm going to use my last grenade, which is going to be a frag grenade. So that's one dex. <clears throat> oh, but then I can't hit him. No, I need, I need to stay yeah. where I am. Yeah. I need to stay where yeah. I am, and I need to use the frag grenade and three attack and so one defense. How does the frag grenade work? Can you throw it at me? I could throw it at you. But then it will deal half damage to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe you should throw it at more mesh. Yeah, so this you is this is my five it. my five dexterity. Frag grenade, one defense, so three attack. Go on, take damage from blitz. No, you used the blitz here. That was energy arc, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all units adjacent to that unit take X minus one damage, but you only did one, so the energy energy arc doesn't, yeah. doesn't spark off. Here we go. This might be it. Uh well yeah, killed in multiple ways. Nice. <laughs> so did, Yeah. Did we survive the grenade? Well, player? that's the thing. I've dealt him four damage, which is enough to kill him. But also, okay. a grenade goes off. So he takes seven damage. He's only got three health left. Uh, we both take one, because it's half yeah. rounded down. We've both got shields anyway. Or oh, I that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's true. You've got your one shield, and I rolled a two. But yeah, he's, he's completely and utterly toasted. Like, yeah. And is that it? We don't need to do anything else? Yeah, no, that's it. There Just you go. To beat him. Easy game, this. <laughs> that day three fight, was it day three or day four? Uh, day four, I think. Day four, I think, yeah. Yeah, was that, that, was, that, was, that was tough. This, this final fight was interesting, but it wasn't actually that difficult, I don't think. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I got lucky there with the attack, but that's, that's seven damage with, with one attack, so... Yeah. There you go. Have you have you played against Mulmesh before? No. We no, didn't because he's a base game one. Oh, you don't have know. the base game. Yeah. We didn't really see much of Mulmesh. No. To be honest. No, I I gather from his card that his encounter cards add baddies to his Yeah. Yeah. fight. And yeah. the encounter card was the next one. Right. So Yeah, there you go. So that's the first time I've played Boomer. Um, I think I understand how it works. I'll do a bit more reading before Thursday. Gasket is really interesting. Mm. It's, you know, they've designed these characters to be very asymmetric. And Gasket basically doesn't, you know, some of the rules don't apply to it. 
but they've cleverly done it in a different way. It's, re it's really interesting how it works. So. Yeah, he's a lot of fun to play. Right. Um, yeah. It did. As with all of them, there's lots of stuff you have to remember with him. Yeah. Um, yeah, like the being able to do the directives after you do the other things. And yeah. But your directives, when you do them, you must do them all. And yep. you can do them in any order. Yeah. 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 No, Gasket is definitely a character that I would play at some point, now that I've seen you playing it. I'm going to stick with Boomer again for this week. Uh, and then I might, I might do a different one next week. We will see. I think the next stage, I mean, I'm playing a game this, this Thursday. But I think it might be a three-player game next. If you're up for that, Scott. Yeah. 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 And Adam is saying the duster run. Yeah, the duster run is going to take a while. I'm not sure where. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, and I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, to be honest, yeah. I. I don't. I, maybe it'll be another hour or something like that, playing against duster, yeah, or maybe probably, another hour yeah. and a half. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, because what? What? It's only more two more, or is it three more progress points? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's it's not that many more. No, no. Okay, cool. Right. Well, thank you very much for joining me again today. Uh, yeah, it's it's a cracking game, isn't it? Yeah, 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 I like it a lot. Yeah, it's very good. Right. Well, I will say goodbye to you first, Scott, and then I'll say goodbye to everybody else. So, um, if I can find the button here. Yep. I'll speak to you later. Yep. Thanks. Right. That's that. Um, so I didn't say this at the start. And I should have done. Um, but this video is not a sponsored video. Uh, this has been created thanks to the support of my Patreon campaign. So a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for making January possible. If you're only watching this stream and you haven't seen any of the other ones, basically I've taken the month off from doing paid videos. And I'm producing about, uh, what, eight to ten live streams a week uh, where I'm playing through lots of different board games. Uh, if you bear with us a minute, I will put an image on screen right now of the plans for this week. Right, these are the plans for this week. So today, there you go, too many bones, 2, 2 p.m. live playthrough. That was today, that's happened. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday, I'm playing a computer game, Drake Hollow, so I'm playing that. It's really good, really enjoying it, so I'm playing that. Tomorrow, I'm continuing my Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-Earth campaign. That's at 2 o'clock. Uh, Wednesday, 5 o'clock, I'm doing a live Q&A. So every month, I do a live Q&A. If you are around at 5 o'clock, please feel free to join in. This is GMT. Uh, you can ask me anything you want. And there is a thread on my Board Game Geek Guild as well, uh, where you can ask me questions in advance if you can't make the show. Wednesday night, solo playthrough of Bonfire, the new Stefan Feld game. Thursday and Friday in the afternoon, uh, I am continuing my Maracaibo campaign. I'm three games in, so I'm going to be doing some more later this week. And Thursday night, back to Too Many Bones. I'm playing Boomer. Ricky's joining me playing Nugget. And we're going to be fighting against... Drell and Paleface, right? So that's that's happening on Thursday, more Too Many Bones. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying Too Many Bones and I am going to be carrying on playing it, uh, I'm going to say semi-regularly. I mean, I've got too many games and not enough time, but I'm really, really enjoying this game and definitely be going to be playing more of it over the foreseeable future. Those will not be sponsored videos. They're only made possible through the support of the Patreon campaign. One final thing, if you're still here, I'm doing a contest. In fact, I'm doing two contests this month, okay? The first contest is one of my Patreon supporters at the end of the month is going to win a copy of the base game of Too Many Bones. So if you've always considered supporting me on Patreon and thought, oh, I wonder when I'm going to do it. If you start supporting me by the end of the month, which is Sunday, uh, if you are a producer level or higher, you will automatically get entered into the contest. You don't need to do anything. Uh, and it's not just for new uh, subscribers either. It's not just for new supporters. Um, basically, if you are a Patreon supporter, on the 31st of January, you will get entered into the contest. That's the first thing. The second contest that I'm doing is open to anybody. So if you're watching this video right now and you're not a patron supporter, and it's not yet the 31st of January, you can enter the contest. Uh, I will need to put a link up on screen, which I haven't got ready. So just bear with us a minute. This is a link to a Google form, okay? All you need to do is fill in the Google form. There's a few questions, and one lucky winner is gonna win a copy of Undertow. Now, if you've already got Undertow, please enter the contest because you can give it to a friend. Uh, there is currently 146 people who have entered. Uh, there's a number of questions and you basically get 
uh, you get correct entries uh, depending on how many questions you get right. So I'm going to copy the link now. And this is going to appear in the chat of this video there. Right, that link is in the chat now. The form is open, it's live. You can click on that, you can fill it in now. Uh, and as I say, you will get entered into the contest and I'll do that draw on the, on the 1st of February. So both contests are being run at the same time. One of them is for patron supporters, which you don't need to do anything if you are a patron supporter. The second one, you need to click on the link. Uh, and as Joel said earlier on, yes, please like the video. Uh, any likes, shares, comments on the video, always really useful. Uh, one of the things about my previous videos of this, they haven't had that many views. Obviously, everybody watching live really appreciate that. But when I look back at the videos, there's not actually that many views on them. So please spread the word, tell, tell other people about them. Uh, make sure if they're interested in the game that you direct them to the first video in the series because that will that will be the one for, for teaching people how to play. But that's everything. It is 20 past five. It's time for me to go downstairs and start cooking dinner. Um, yeah, that is everything. So yeah, I will see you if you're here just for Too Many Bones. I'll see you on Thursday evening. If you like any of the other content, then that will be coming during the week. And don't forget, live Q&A, five o'clock on Wednesday if you want to ask me anything. And that is everything. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining in the chat. Thank you very much to everybody for all of the, the rules help, specifically Mark and George, but everybody else as well. And I'll see you all later. Take care. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.